No faking. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, I hit the record button. I, 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 I don't even remember. Niggas ain't even got headphones off. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody ready. Right? I don't even remember. That's how you, we ain't did a mic check or nothing. That's how you saw me. That's all right. That's how we started. Niggas just said, I'm a little amateur pop boy. Damn. Hey, look, I respect that. Uh, I ain't gonna say his name, but we definitely got a homie that only watch amateur porn. I think he been on saying it before, but um, <laughs> what his name start with? He only watch amateur porn. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, what's his name that. start with, nigga? Uh, is at the end of the alphabet, towards the end of the alphabet, <laughs> nigga. That's a lot of letters. It's like I, I, out of our friend list, he might be the last letter. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> oh, okay. anyway. He said he only watched amateur porn, right? And he's been saying this for years. Now, at first, I was like, man, that amateur porn don't really, like, niggas don't really work the angles, the camera angles and shit. You it's know what I'm saying? Like, doggy style. Bro, and the shit be, <laughs> like, a lot of the older shit was just weak, right? Yeah. So that nigga was like, nah, man, you know, egg videos, whatever, right? So one day, I'm just on that bit. You know, I had my time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right. Went on eggs videos. I said, oh, these hoes. Oh, they different. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. They <laughs> now, nigga, I got a little, I got a uh, notes tab. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn. <laughs> God God damn. All <laughs> hey, man, I came across notes one. Tab. Yeah, notes tab, nigga, just, nigga, just, I'm about to say, just remember the names. That's nah, what I you do. Gotta, you got to save them names. I just remember them, bro. I be like, uh, slut getting, get so, snatching soul. Nah, that's too, that, like that's that. too broad, nigga. That's too broad. Not I right, found man. a gym today, nigga. Really? Send it today, to me. Nigga. Send it to me. Did I shake your hand? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody shaking these hands. Yeah, yeah, I saw the nigga doing the Macarena early. I knew. I knew. That's how I knew. Like, this nigga gonna watch some amateur porn today. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, next time nigga dance like that, you see some amateur porn. Nigga said, yeah, the Macarena caused that. <laughs> I mean, it was the tail tail. That's funny as fuck, boy. <laughs> Oh Man, that's funny as hell. Yeah, uh, just so y'all know, y'all catch your boy on TikTok, man. We finna bring the uh, the Macarena back. Mm. R.O.P. You know what I'm saying? We got Elm, your boy. <laughs> and then we got... Why you said my name first? It's gonna be in the middle. You gonna get in the middle, nigga. <laughs> R.O.P. A.B.D.C. Let's nigga. go. <laughs> America's yeah, best dance crew. We're charging that old podcast out there to a dance song, bro. You if y'all know niggas, if y'all hey. niggas with it, run it. Let's get it, nigga. You got to serve. With it, bro. I'm with it, dog. Yeah, I, y'all heard it. Yeah, y'all heard it. And here y'all first, niggas man. want that smoke, man. Yeah, I'm only dancing against poor minds. <laughs> 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 See, I ain't dancing against them. I'm gonna be dancing on them. I'm gonna get us, gonna get us disqualified. <laughs> they be like, sir, you gotta stay on your side. Man, you see all that ass over there? Like, like, what side? What do you mean? Which <laughs> side? The left or the right, nigga? That, that nigga get us me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, you better hope you get on that ass too, nigga. This nigga was dancing too aggressive on the women. Hey, I'm gonna be crazy. telling the story like, yeah, man, I had to jump on that ass. That nigga Devin gonna be like, me too. Yeah, <laughs> I would have been. Really. I have my dog back, bro. I have my dog. Back. He can't. He can't control what he sees. Scaring the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. That is fair. That's a fair disqualification. Niggas don't make it through the first round. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 that's funny as fuck. But well, it's about to be an ignorant episode. Yeah, man. Let's go ahead and introduce this, man. That was a crazy way to come in. Malcolm, Just, you drinking was, tonight? You on the <laughs> you want to I mean, I know it's right there, but don't mean you can't drink. Oh, oh no. Bro, that's oh, crazy. Bro. Bro. Huh? Just because it's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm good, bro. I know it rained, bro, but you could drink it and drive. <laughs> hey, man, I didn't say drive. Live I didn't say I didn't say drive. <laughs> <laughs> Living on the wild side. <laughs> All right, don't don't do what that nigga talking about. Oh <laughs> right, that 
Let's, let's <laughs> intro the show, man. This episode five thirty one. R A O P. Yeah, I know your boy Ampa Valley, Mister Motherfucking Jefferson, with that MAGA hat on. Oh, <laughs> back again. Yeah, nigga said back again. <laughs> back again. Uh, David Da Vinci, aka Tim the Tool Man Taylor, aka Suave Rico. Not to be confused with that other guy. <laughs> You already know what it is, man. Father of the year. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, Let's go. I, what else on the list I can add on that thing, man? Renaissance, man. Photographer of the year. I yes, mean, sir. shit. What, 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 uh, the list right now. <laughs> mayor of the year. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, this the man. We got the man in the building up, for y'all to know. If know. y'all don't know the voice, you know what I'm saying? You ain't been tapped in long enough. We yeah, got motherfucking right. Mount Jackson. Oh, OG, the OG friend of the show. Oh, yeah. you know hey, Joe Budden podcast. You stole that from us. Bro. Yeah, yeah bitch bitch ass quite ass literally, man. They stole that. Quite literally, bro. Nigga had some friend of the show merch. I was like, bro, you stole that from us, bro. It's all good. I mean, <laughs> hey, niggas just be stealing shit from us. It's, it's, it's getting outlandish. Two things. When this nigga Mount said he'd father the year, this nigga Devin ain't contest him at all. He, at he all. might be. Oh. He, he might be. <laughs> hey, he, 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 he got it. You got it. You got it. This nigga Devin be sitting up unsanctioned boxing matches for his son. This nigga ain't in the runnings. All right. That nigga like what T.I. said. King of the South, you got it, bro. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> my, son, my, son, my son said I look like Blade and Deadpool when I got this haircut, so he definitely, he bro, definitely oh had the will, bro. So like, <laughs> that, you got that's him out. Funny as I ain't talked to him in three days because of that. You got him out. <laughs> you father <laughs> the goddamn years. <laughs> 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 like, you got the same thing. Where's the nuts? Blade. Like, no the fuck, I did. <laughs> I didn't do that. Not that he did. <laughs> 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 you, you're actually resembling oh, over there, lie, bro. Yeah, there's some shades over there somewhere, <laughs> bro. Somebody said I look like Western Snipes, bro. My, my old child? child? Yeah. No, yeah, bro. nah, bro. That's got, not yeah, my child. Have have you might gotta disown that. Nigga, yeah, that's bro. not my child. No we more, got bro. to have a conversation, bro. Damn, Devin, you were supposed to roll up, bro. What? Bro. I never agreed to that at fuck. all. I think I lost my. Oh, never mind. Nigga derailing a podcast about my weed, bad, bro. my bad. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Y'all get back to it. <laughs> what else you was interested? What else you adding to the repertoire? You was about to say what else? Uh, you won the King Fish tournament too, didn't you? If I'm not mistaken, yeah, that yeah, was you back in '98. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them niggas you know, know what I'm bro. Extra drive, man. Yeah, that shit ain't easy. Gate yeah, River Run participant back in the day, bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> what that nigga say? <laughs> What is it? <laughs> bro, you gotta you gotta put David name on that shit. <laughs> what is it? What if it's that shit on the podcast? Yes, I do It's not Thursday, nigga. <laughs> you see it Thursday. Yeah, you don't need to see that. You see it Thursday at 10 a.m. <laughs> you don't need to see that. Bro. Thursday, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, nah, that is funny. I'm sure, bro. It's the surviving. Bro. It's surviving. Dude. Do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why you got on pajamas? <laughs> bro, that nigga been wild his whole life. That'd be cool. He, Survi- just had, he just had Saucy Santana in the... Oh, my God. Oh my God. Bro, surviving yeah. Da Vinci would be diabolical. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's wild. That's, that's wild. That's wild. That's, wild. that's, wild. that's, that. that's the name of the episode. Let me see that life. Bro, I got to go to PTA. <laughs> no, man, I got to go to PTA meetings, bro. There might, there might be a shirt coming. <laughs> that is wild, bro. Surviving Da Vinci. Nobody buying this shirt. <laughs> Nobody buys that shirt. Oh, nobody. But what does hey, that, well, that shit sell out, bro? That shit like, might what? sell like crazy, oh, bro. What does that shit sell like? That's not a question of uh, uh, followers, bro. I'm just going to say this. If you buy that shirt, I'm putting you. I'm sending your name to a list. All these, what what Ryan called them, sick boys out here, sick bro. Boy. Don't buy that shirt. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> bro! I don't know how many years ago that was. The anniversary of that. Oh. Uh, bro, that was a wild bro. time. The, the Pokemon yeah. nigga, wasn't it? It's it's the yeah. Pokemon I nigga. was thinking about that this morning too. Cause I was thinking about the hundred episode. <laughs> like you know, I'm so proud of y'all how far y'all came. And I was like, bro, like. It was a fire episode. It was also like horrible. Like uh, when you look at it in the hindsight, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
That was like one of the most chaotic episodes. <laughs> <laughs> the, I want to say that was the that first. Was insane, that was the first bro. chaotic one. This nigga dead yeah. threw up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that night was crazy, yeah, bro. I, I wish I still had no bro. pictures from that night. Yeah. That shit. Was and then Ryan just got up and started making grits and shit. Right? Like, was, bro, I threw up crazy. in my I threw up in my car that night. That shit was crazy. That's insane. Nigga said, "Yo, boys want some grits." Yeah, he's like, "Hey, grits in the little podcast." I would have threw up, nigga. That shit was insane. There was like twenty niggas in there that night. That shit was crazy. That shit was insane. Bro, like Make Stan was upside down on the couch. Yeah, like, I, I still had that picture. Yeah, he had got bro. drunk and fell upside down. Yeah, I fell down. upside down. Ah, wow, that's that's that picture, nigga bro. cartwheeled onto the couch. Bro, <laughs> but then, but it's, it's sound but, with his feet like dangling the end and Jordy like posting by the shit. <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> I can't remember what the question. Do you remember what the question was? What they call him? I know he was like Pokemon. Like, what was it about Pokemon? <laughs> I don't think he was playing it a lot, wasn't he? He was like, if we was, uh, he was like, if Pokemon was in real life. You know what's crazy? I'm low key a sick boy because I thought that was an amazing question. But yeah, he said like, a Pokemon was in real life. Which starter Pokemon would we pick? Like, oh, oh that's Squirtle. a fun, that is a fun question. It was a no, normal, sorry. normal question. We didn't expect none of that. We didn't expect none of that. You think? Come on, bro. You think Ryan played Pokemon growing up? No, no, I doubt he. He probably still don't know what the fuck it is. Honestly, <laughs> that's funny as hell, you man. You a sick boy. <laughs> <laughs> no. I wish that shit was video record. I would. Because <laughs> Ryan was like, well, photo this face. He's like, what? <laughs> oh, come on. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, man. No. <laughs> Ryan, funny as hell in person, but the first time hearing that nigga on the podcast, bro, I could not stop laughing, dog. <sighs> well, that I was nigga like, won't. this nigga is gold, bro. <laughs> He was a good dude. Ryan, yeah, Ryan been the funniest nigga I know. Was that the I same know. episode when the cat jumped on us? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That had to be like episode it was three. Dead and then like yeah, um, it was episode three. Oh, that one was, yeah. Yeah, that one wasn't in the one with everybody there. I that was episode hundred. That was episode hundred because we yeah. had all that fucking liquor, bro. I still haven't drank Jack that Jack Daniels apple since that podcast. That's the shit that had me throwing up in my cock bro, and Ryan's apartment. <laughs> 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 Man, I forgot. It was like, this what happened to the goldfish in there too that night? Like, oh huh? yeah, 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 yeah. It was a lot going on. Yeah, it was, in that it one was, set, it was I gotta go back and listen to that episode. Now you said, I remember that shit because I remember I had a, che- a, che- a cheap ass MacBook. Yeah. And that nigga Jordy kept slapping the table. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every time he slapped the table, the podcast would stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, God shit damn. Was I was like on house party when that nigga on when Martin was DJ. He said, Flash can't keep no fucking table. Oh like, nigga, stop hitting the fucking table, man. I think the podcast like started over like eight times. It did. I do That's remember funny. it starting over. I do remember that. We had to go Girl, back and restart here. from when we left the I remember that shit. I'm like, nigga, stop hitting the fucking table, nigga. Damn, yeah, that was we crazy was last night. Jesus Christ. Like, I just remember all that shenanigans, and I remember that question, but I did not remember anything else as far as what, was, what Everybody in that bitch about, was turned. Like, uh, everybody talking. was talking and pouring up. Talking and just pouring talking, up. Just talking, really? <laughs> like, uh, everybody made it home that night. That's, yeah, that's what's nah, up. we here. We should have all just yeah, stayed at Ryan's house that night. Fuck, ate them grits. <laughs> we had something to eat, bro. We had something to eat. Eating grits, and that's that's insane. No, nah, that nigga, nah, that's Ryan. Right. It, it was just me and Devin over there. <laughs> <laughs> and nigga made so he made a big ass like y'all boy want some grits. <laughs> uh, nah, bro. Like, <laughs> nigga, <it's> nigga, like, <laughs> nigga sat at the table with the whole pot of grits and was eating that bit. Of nah, grits. bro. That was like, it was like six. It was like six in the that afternoon, bro. Like, like <laughs> them shits was steaming, bro. <laughs> Some grits Nigga just eating a big ass <laughs> pot of grits in the afternoon. That's just in the afternoon. Nigga was holding a pot like. <laughs> I knew Ryan was different. First time I met that nigga, and uh, I was at his crib. That nigga had um, he was he, he had his AK completely broken apart. Mm. All mm. the animals oh, were just yeah. running around crazy, <laughs> nigga. I'm looking around. I'm like, bro, you got fish in here too. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you remember that time when we went in there? He was making. <laughs> A gun from scratch. I just don't even that book. He was making a gun from scratch. Yeah, he was making a gun from scratch. He had the gun from the nigga. Different, dog. Now, that's a renaissance man right there. That's a renaissance man. Him being a park ranger was the perfect fucking job. Bro, that nigga used to take me fishing out on the lake and shit. Boy, we used to have a hell of a time. That nigga ride funny. I used to have to wonder. 
Are we about to go to war every time I linked up with Ryan? If, any, <laughs> if, if, if a catastrophe was to break out, I'm finding Ryan. Oh, That's well, all I'm Ryan saying. Ryan or Tremaine? One Ryan, of the two. Ryan or Tremaine? Oh, one of the two. Yeah. One yeah. of the two. I'm finding them two, about that, them two. Now, where they at, bro? That's where I'm going. Yeah, them two there. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta give it to them, both yeah, of them. Okay. Like, I don't, matter of fact, me and Jermaine was up at the shop recently, and um, fuck it, I'm almost out of there now. This is the last month we in there, so um, we ain't talk about it on the podcast. But there was a shooting that occurred outside of mm-hmm. our space. You know what I'm saying? It, it stemmed from somebody renting the space, and they had beef. You know that happened at an event prior, mm-hmm. and it just led there all in the same day type shit. Crazy ass ball, fucking shit. night. Yeah. 70 <clears throat> shots rang out. Nigga, I'm standing outside of the fucking door like I had just stepped out. The The story is insanity. I'll probably tell it on the Patreon for real. Y'all tap into that. Um, Patreon.com slash Ario Podcast. You definitely don't want to miss this. I, I damn near died that night. Um, but... Damn, what was, I, what was my... Tremaine. Tremaine. All right, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, some nigga pulled us up the other day, probably like a week and a half ago. That nigga Tremaine just happened to stop by, and um, I was uh, in there working and shit. I had the lights off because I needed for the projector and shit, so I just ain't cut them back on. When Tremaine got there, it's probably like 7.30, but the sun was going down unusually early today, right? Um, white BMW pulls up and damn near stops. On opposite side of traffic, you know what I'm saying? Middle of the street. I'm looking out the window. That nigga had the door like crack. He seen that shit. Bro, both both of us at the same time just caught the pistol, you know what I'm saying? And stepped outside. I'm thinking in my head, like, thank God this nigga here because, bro, like. Right, right. <laughs> <that shit. laughs> so the, the funny shit was that shit, like, nigga turned. The thing about back. it, like, location wise, like, like I haven't been able, I didn't get a chance to go inside, but like I've seen it. Mm-hmm. So like you got to really be bold, bro. It's like one of the busiest sections. When the, of I town. say this, the nigga that shot out the shit was a dumbass kid. You know what I mean? Just making stupid ass decisions. Um, <clears throat> he definitely walked us down. Mm. He walked us down. Um, but he was shooting recklessly. Nigga had an AK overhead, like oh, this. typical yeah. nigga shit. Yeah, that's Young nigga shit. Yeah. At first, no I could, control. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The first like, for the first like week, I couldn't tell you much of anything that was going on. Like it was so much shit that occurred, and then um, I actually saw the video of everything, <laughs> and bro, that shit was crazy, nigga, crazy. But all in all, you know what I'm saying? I said to say, Tremaine always ready. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, like, yeah. That nigga he's always first, ready to hold yeah. some shit down. He was like, the first one out of all of us with a burner. Mm-hmm. I knew that shit was crazy. I was like, yeah, I probably should get one too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, he already got one. We, we barely in our 20s, nigga. He, he knew what's up. Yeah. Like, ahead of time. Yeah. Like, he's new. <laughs> like, shit about to get crazy and do for all the next five years. Like, okay, Tremaine, whatever, <laughs> whatever <laughs> you say. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was not wrong <laughs> at all, bro. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. He had pulled this. He, I had seen him with his shit. I was like, I thought guns was fake. Nigga was real. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> what? That's funny. You ever yeah, seen a nigga with a gun? He pulled it out. Oh, the guns are real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nigga turned into Scooby Doo. Nigga said, "This real life." I learned that shit in middle school, man. Yeah, right. Matter of fact, Ryan and Anthony was the first two I saw with guns. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah. Shit, um, crazy enough. In like the sixth grade, my next door neighbor for whatever reason one day just was like hey man come inside here's my 45 you know what I mean? like, <laughs> I came inside. i'm looking I at this inside. shit like grown-ass man and shit you know what yeah. i mean like i don't even know why he put that gun in my hands uh but i think when i was like because he wanted a friend that's crazy that is insane <laughs> that's wild that's that wild. is insane. He bro. was making friends. That is wild, <laughs> bro. Yeah, we wasn't no, we wasn't no, nah, that fuck no, man. fuck no. Nah, first time I ended up dating his daughter for like two weeks or whatever. She oh. was, that, remember I told you I dated a white girl in middle school? That was in sixth grade. I was like, yeah, nah, nah this ain't oh. for me. Oh, that's <laughs> for me. <laughs> they do stuff way different over here. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> nah, the first time like I ever ever <laughs> seen a gun was from my uncle. I bring up here all the time. I bring <laughs> yeah. up on oh, here. so I'm at I'm at my grandma's house watching cartoons and shit. So my grandma like, hey, watch him while I go to the store. So as soon as my grandma leave out the door, he he like, guess what? I got a gun. Don't tell grandma. <laughs> Why is he telling us this? Why is he telling us that? Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was like, you want to see it? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> he ran and got the gun. He was like, look. look, 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 look. How much look. older is he? <laughs> well, he not that much older than him. Um, no, nah, he's not that old much older. I'm 35. He, he got to be like around like maybe like 41, 42. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's so he funny, was just like trying to be like the cool be the old, kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, never let, I would never want them to be like, with that nigga, bro. Boy, well, like, I was he, coming he, up. He, like, he, like, he my uncle, but like he was damn near like my older brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, got, I got, well, me and my nephew we got that situation too. We're like a few months apart. Oh, damn, yeah. yeah nah, so, not like that nigga. No, I know that. Stories. I know them stories. That's crazy. Um, it's uh, it's funny now to think about shit like that because, like, in Pensacola, when I was coming up, my brother, homie, he was like the the that nigga had everything, bro. First nigga I seen with goals. First nigga I seen with a two way pager. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A, a two way pager. A, a sidekick. All of that shit that was mm. like, that nigga had a sidekick I want to say a year before the shit came out nigga. Damn. Like, yeah. I'm looking at the shit like what the fuck is this? Then when Jay-Z started rapping about it, nigga, and you finally start seeing people have yeah, it. Had them, bitch. You like, damn. Yeah. But that nigga was definitely moving dope, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. But yeah. it was yeah. one of those kind of situations to where it was like you see guns, <laughs> but you don't know like what they, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the severity of how real it is, how much they weigh and shit like that. Till like the sixth grade, and, he, yeah. and, and Cracker put it in my hand. I was like, oh, yeah, shit, you are real. Fuck. Guns yeah. are real. It's true. Like, like, yeah, yeah. They are real. Before that, you think the bitches like water gun, wait, yeah. right, right, right. 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 You, like, you see it on somebody's hip, yeah. and it's just like, like as like, a child, oh, it's yeah. like, man. Yeah, that's why my uncle was. He had the big ass phone like that. The big. The big, then he had the fucking the flip phone. Oh, then he had a two way. He had a beeper. Oh, he was definitely the a nigga. Trapper. Wasn't working nowhere. Yep. Like, yep. Right, yep. that nigga was trapped. <laughs> and his his favorite thing, he was spamming. This was his super kick. Like, don't tell grandma. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you should have started telling grandma. Yeah. Yeah. For your own Maybe. safety, yeah. you probably yeah. should have started yeah. telling grandma. Who like, was living over real roads? Nigga just came in the house. He was, he just sat down. He just pulled out all <laughs> his all his electronics. Like. Don't tell your mama or grandma. He's like, like, oh, he like, definitely would. <laughs> that nigga was selling dope. I'm out of that house, bro. You say you stayed in River Oaks? Yeah, you stayed in River Oaks. Oh, sure. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That was a time period, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He was just so happy yeah. to go. He was over there moving work yeah, from. Yeah, bro. That was, that was prime years between yeah. that and Hartman. Mm-hmm. That nigga was over there no. traffic. He was like, let me go see my nephew. Bye. Nigga, show him this stuff. Get him inspired. He's about quality time, bro. That nigga went serious. Gonna be inspired by all the shit I got. Yeah, yeah, he was hoping that you would take over. That's what happened. That's what it was grooming like, you, bro. You know, she yeah. yeah. told us in the movies, yeah. bro. He did that shit in real life. Yeah, he's trying to groom you to be a dope boy. Bro. You see what dope gets you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck, all fuck the old bro. Get that money, bro. See all that money? See all that money? I just got that today. Now the greenest shit my uncle ever did. So you remember when you know back in Florida, the popular jersey was the Shaq and Penny jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he had mm-hmm. he, he had uh, we had we both had the jersey. So he had the Shaq one. He had the penny one, and he was like, "He was like, where your penny Hardaway jersey?" I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> "So he said he just told me to wear the penny Hardaway jersey." So I went with my parents to the movies, and he was like, "He, I guess he told one of my parents he was gonna be up there, or whatnot." So he like, "Where your penny Hardaway jersey?" I was like, "Okay." Yeah. So I'm telling my, I'm begging my parents, like, let me wear the Penny Hardaway jersey. They were like, why the fuck you want to wear this jersey so bad? So I wear the Penny Hardaway jersey. I see this nigga in the mall. He was like, come here right now. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm next. I'm a little kid, by the way. He was like, walk with me. I'm like, okay. He got on the Shaq jersey. He got on the Shaq jersey. I got on a Penny jersey. He was like, don't say nothing. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> How old is he at this point? <laughs> I'm like, he like probably 13, 14, okay, 15. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a little, I'm in elementary school. Yeah. So he like, bro, don't say, he like, don't say nothing. They say, you know, like 
eight girls walk by. Nah, that's okay. exactly what my head was. was I was like, yeah, all right. Nigga said, yes. <laughs> they, they, they run up to him they're like That's oh funny. my god y'all so adorable yeah. so I got he got the shat jersey he like, yeah. he, like, yes. he like he like yeah this is my little nephew right here mm-hmm. that nigga was playing chess <laughs> bro no, we, we he bro. Bro. he's bro. trying to teach you he something bro. Bro. He he knew, my bro. little man he already knew <laughs> bro that, that, nigga, that nigga pull all the girls that nigga was trying to teach you something bro that, yeah. that shit like repellent now. Like you can't oh, really. It's God. rare that you find That's chicks funny. and be like, "Oh shit, you got a son. You take care." And I was like, "Man, I don't want no nigga with no kids <laughs> because of your cousin. Your cousin's fucking set that up, bro." Yeah, that nigga, you <laughs> for it all day, bro. Dude, I, this is a crazy question, but hopefully I'm wrong. But do you still talk to that nigga? Yeah, still talk to him. Okay, I was hoping I was wrong. I hope uh, you don't talk to that nigga. <laughs> 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 that nigga want me to hate my family. Yeah, you should. <laughs> From what you told us about him, it, it would make sense if you ever did. I would not judge you. It's funny because that nigga a grandfather, which is crazy because that nigga's <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I couldn't boy. imagine me being a grandfather. <laughs> 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 he only feels the one. That nigga got grandkids, bro. I mean, oh. <laughs> he probably taught his son, taught wow. son or daughter the game, bro, and they got in it. Yes. That's how I'd be. He made that nigga wear a Kyrie Irving jersey. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, God. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wear this bronze jersey. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, I don't think we got into one topic yet. <laughs> oh, we got those. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, okay. so, bro, maybe. Maybe so. What y'all want to do, voicemails? That's yeah, fair. Let's, do them things. let's kick off with them voicemails. Send it voicemails. Hit us up. 424-260-RAOP. It would be good if I had a shit up. 424-260-RAOP. Y'all, y'all hold on. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> yeah, that whole porn talk threw you off. I know it. Porn talk? Yeah, the whole uh, amateur porn talk. I know that threw you off. We need to bring back RAOP at night. Again for the third time. Let's do it, bro. Nigga, you about to leave. So? I got to depend on Joe. FaceTime. I FaceTime you know I'm here for the for interviews. For I FaceTime for that. I mm-hmm. mean, uh, interviews. Man, I need the one on there. What's her name? Okay. Which Big Booty Shay? Nigga, remember the name. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I see her all the time on my burner account. Yeah, she be gotta, on there all the time. Yeah, I got to put, put me on game. game. Put me on game. Um, um, she's Mal closure. Interesting. Yeah, I want you to get in trouble, Mal. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, shit anyway. this this no. has nothing to do with Mal, but no, uh, hey, I, I was a change man. I, I was on Big Booty. <laughs> I was on Big Booty Shade <laughs> Twitter, and she got like a side. She got a team, like a twerk team. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Man. It's her and two other chicks. Damn. You see, yeah, you tell there, bro. Shit with the blue hair, right? Yeah, the chick with the blue hair. Yeah, I, gotta, gotta I need them. that one. I, I got a white one. I need both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, it's funny because that white girl, she usually be working with that old classmate of ours I told you about that do it. Mm. I seen her. You, you, <laughs> I, I don't know how to respond to that. Huh? Who's the classmate? Uh, oh no, you don't want to say He listened to the show, actually. Yeah. I don't oh, know if he still oh, do, but he I know he listened to the show. Mind. You know her baby father, Jim. We're gonna stop right there. I don't yeah, want nobody to get beat up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. But we'll yeah, people say her. that blue headed demon that she be with, I need that. Mm. I need that. I, see, I seen one video, they were like, <laughs> they were like on the way to Orlando. Yeah, was, that was a crazy way yeah! to frame that. Bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I got too excited. <laughs> <laughs> but I know what we don't need talk about. about. It's just, oh, you do. Yeah, I'm trying to figure. I mean, I know. I think I know who you talking. I'm gonna about. stop right there because too many people listen to the show. Yeah, yeah that one on one with Orlando. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it's that. It's a great yeah. one. Nah, it was one with Orlando. <laughs> it was like it was just said on the way to Orlando. It was three of them just giving one nigga hate. Bro, they was going crazy oh, in that backseat too. Did, bro. I had the Yugi. I was like, should have been me. This <laughs> should have been me, bro. I felt that not way. Like, and, and she don't live. From what she says, she don't live very far out. She live, yeah. Hey, bro, R.E.O.P. at night about to be a POV, <laughs> POV just, video. Just randomly, have a, you have a randomly, just randomly do a orgy in the middle of the show. Nobody would be expecting oh, that. We, that we, are on, not, we are on, not, we are not, bro. We don't have know, 22. Bro. We're family, bro. <laughs> are we, though? You don't, neither one of y'all have a family. Well, I, I'm family. When it comes and my to son that. not subscribed to the Patreon, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, God. All right, bro, let's go ahead. <laughs> I wish I didn't bring none of that. <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to the voicemail. 424-260-REOP. 
two six zero R E P. This nigga take it too far every time. <laughs> that nigga went so far enough for this guy. And I was calling <laughs> to ask who. Okay, outside of everybody who did the the Super Bowl, who would be the best? Who could pull off a who could pull off a, a Super Bowl halftime performance? We already got Kendrick coming up. Uh, no Drake would. You mean not that crazy, that crazy motherfucker Kanye? And if he was to do one, you know he would probably raise the uh, the terrorist color to. No, they probably find a new color when he get up there and start talking. That's the color. <laughs> and would y'all say Travis Scott just because of what he does with his live performances? But, nah, death follow Travis Scott. But it might yeah. be a threat of death. Because, <laughs> ah, you know, see his concert. And also, it's crazy to think that um, Abraham Lincoln was a bundle of sticks. Huh? Oh wow! Oh, okay. <laughs> breaking, breaking news, but yeah, I was just looking up something, and it said, <laughs> this nigga said, uh, it said Abraham Lincoln was in them rooms, <laughs> and almost, and almost, uh, Wait. almost went out like Hernandez or oh, 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 oh. did he go out over like? some oh, no, over no. some over some mail? So yeah. <laughs> it was a racist and a bundle of stick. All right, man. <laughs> Stop saying that. <laughs> what, a, what a segue. That segue was horrible. Crazy. I did not see that coming. Like, that nigga said anyway. Yeah. Like, I, just, I just slowly <laughs> lean into that. Like, bro, we wasn't even. That was, what? I got a two old performances to, to Mars. How like, what the fuck you talking about? about? <laughs> I don't even know. Like, you I guess said, he just, before he forgot about it type shit, I guess. You said, anyway, I'm going to say that problem. What? What was he reading at? That's the question. TikTok. I don't know where you found out Abraham uh, Lincoln was a bundle he didn't, of sticks. He didn't whatever. ask a He's question, never, so I'm gonna just go back to the Super Bowl. He's That's saying. such a hilarious way of saying it, that nigga. <laughs> 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 that nigga hit the Eminem at the end. He said he was checking the mail. Get it? Checking the mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, so. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, Mount don't share none of this to your page. <laughs> don't, even, don't even tell nobody. Who, don't tell nobody who's in this podcast this week. We here at uh, Random Acts of Podcasts are not responsible for the views of our <laughs> Hey, look, I give everybody a fair warning. Nigga, we are ignorant <laughs> as fuck on this podcast. Thank you. Thank you. I have to do the same your own discretion. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But. Hey, well, Mark, I'm glad you did, the OG, you did the OG session, so you got to get your brand out there good. Don't share yeah, this yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have nothing to do with what the hell that just happened. Well, what just happened right yeah, there? We, I didn't know. Yeah, you don't read good. these before you put them out? You just be... No, I, I probably no. should. You probably should start, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. I've been on enough episodes to know that he does not. I don't read I don't know why I never thought to ask that, but I'm like, shit. But then I thought about like, nah, he probably does. You don't notice before I click on the bitch to still be bold. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't check them ever. <laughs> All right, so who he said who would be who could so do got, a who yeah, could who, do a Super Bowl, yeah, Super Bowl halftime? Time. According to Maul, Drake turned it down. I think that's a crock of bullshit. Yeah. Um, Nigga said know. Drake turned it down four times. Okay, four times. Nobody crazy. asking him four times. Crazy as fuck. Drake, Drake please. Please. Like, I know, I know please. you. I know you not from New Orleans, but your boss is from New Orleans. Can you come do the New Orleans one? Like, Drake, you're no. from everywhere. Drake is from everywhere. That nigga's a mutt. I know. I know what you're talking about. Um, Kanye, it'd be funny if like in the middle of his set. He just started preaching. Like, he about to do Jesus walks. And he just cut the music and just started preaching to everybody, bro. Like, oh. he, I see him doing some shit like that. Oh, oh. I, I saw him do that Tampa show. Really? Uh, what was that? Life of Pablo tour? Yeah. Uh, when he, after that, he canceled everything after that show. Yeah, see, oh, I see him doing some crazy night. shit like that. It wouldn't even be music. It'd be his antics. So, uh, I don't want to. I don't want yeah, Kanye. I never do Kanye. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, Kanye Travis, West could do it. Yeah, just West. Kanye West. Not Kanye yeah, New Kanye. Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Yeezus. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, Kanye West. I'm not even saying Jesus. You might say Jesus? Yay. No. Yay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
I ain't gonna I'm, hold you. I, I was on board with all the Kanye bullshit when he was Yeezus. Like, I was like, hey man, Kanye on or something. This nigga, oh, he was, he was like, I need a god. <laughs> yeah, this nigga yeah, is he was brewing. trying, and it just this nigga is brewing. Then that nigga started hanging with Trump <laughs> and shit. That shit turned on up. I really was cool. like, damn, that nigga put the wrong season in this shit. Oh, as soon as he said slavery is a choice, oh, hold yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Slavery is a choice. Hold yeah. up, hold up. broke is a choice. I was like, yeah. I put pause on the music. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> I put pause on that Kanye record. <laughs> Stronger, you know what I'm saying? I say, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, really, he he stopped for me after uh, graduation. I mean, yeah, after graduation, so I'm good on Kanye. Anything after eight oh eight, some heartbreaks and, and beyond. I'm, I'm, I like eight oh eight. Eight oh eight was straight. Eight oh eight was actually. I gotta go really back and listen to it as a goddamn adult. Changed, That's what I gotta do. The genre. I mean, eight oh eight was a really good album. Like I think few bangers, but I. I think that once you <clears throat> once you get past, because you gotta think like eight oh eight. That nigga was going through a lot. Well, well, he didn't have to make it. Always came out in what in oh six. Oh no, oh seven. Yeah, oh eight. Oh eight. That's when it turned. Oh seven. Oh seven. Damn, it was. So that's that's when it turned. That's, that's when it turned. And niggas started wearing no fro, no fro tops. He changed. I mean. You can damn near. I remember talking to you about that album. Like I remember talking to this nigga in the crib about that album. I was like, "Yo, yeah. 808s is a lot different than anything we've heard from Kanye." I don't know how to accept from anybody. From anybody. He from anybody right. at that time. I mean, you can make different. the argument that if it wasn't for that, you would not have Drake today. Right, right, right. Um, right. I mean, to me, I mean, comeback season Drake is yeah. different, but you can, would not have Drake or this. this you wouldn't two have different worlds a lot of, of artists that you have. I think a, that. Yeah, Kid yeah, Cudi, Travis I think, Scott. I mean, even 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 Lil Uzi. I would man, say to look, a degree. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go as far as to say I think Thug. Yeah, I can see that. And I here's see, why I say I can see that. Eight oh eight and heartbreaks was like nigga. the introduction. Yeah, future. Eight oh eight and heartbreaks was the that. introduction of us seeing a nigga really use his voice as an instrument mm-hmm. consistently. You know what I'm saying? Like Roger Zapp had did shit like that. It was we the seen, closest we've seen to going back to the essence of jazz type shit. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Like <clears throat> you hearing this nigga just doing runs. You know what mm, I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of records and shit, mm. it's like, hold up, what yeah. are you? And sometimes he he was actually running. And yeah. then those records, Quite he, literally. Was, he started going crazy. <laughs> Quite <laughs> literally, get out of the studio. Um, <laughs> but that's um, I mean, the elephant in the room. I I do. <laughs> Wayne has a catalog to do it. He Wayne has more a than catalog. one catalog. I, I was going to say Wayne, but... He has more than one catalog. I don't think Wayne do. has the marketability to do it. Yeah, he hasn't That's, been on the stage this big before. But then again, a lot of people who, who's done their shows haven't, hadn't been on the stage that big before. It's, Hold no, up. Big, it's no stage bigger than the Super Bowl. That's the True. biggest, and, and, the and biggest and stage. Biggest stage. And then not just that. I mean, who would you say, like... I remember when MIA performed at the Super Bowl, right? You MIA. Know, what the was, hell Super Bowl was that? Oh, when she did paper planes. She, 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 she came she out. Was that Katy like, Perry? Was it Katy Perry? Uh, I don't think it was Katy Perry. It might have been Katy Perry. Because she did, did. No, it had to been before that because she did paper planes. I think. Katy Perry did one too? No, 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 no. Yeah. Katy Perry definitely Katie did Katy Perry oh, did one. But you gotta think, those are people that did world world tours, world right? Tours MIA true. came out to perform because she was at like her peak. Like that yeah. that record yeah. was in movies. That, was that record was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Was, 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 you know what I'm huh? was it YouTube? It might have been. I'm, that's around YouTube that time. Did, dude, they, they I don't know if you know. Plays came out. That's when Pineapple okay. Express. They did like so, yeah, three yeah, artists that, that came out with her. Like every yeah. one, of, it was all three female artists or some shit like that. Yeah. But every one of them did a song or something. I remember they and, got uh, mad because he like shot the bird in yes. the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they told she she had practiced it. Right, and they told her beforehand, just like everybody, don't do no none of that shit that could cause us, you know, damage and shit. And she went out there and did that shit. FCC tore their ass up. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's, just, it's yeah. just so wild that most of the people that have performed at the Super Bowl, at least they have at least one song with Wayne. I saw in the most recent years. So like, I could see Wayne probably being there. Is like he might be a Madonna. surprise guest type shit out there because Madonna okay that Madonna. It's, it's no way Wayne gonna have a Super Bowl in the city he not performed which I forgot Madonna did Madonna For did real. do one yeah I forgot it was during Madonna she got a song with Wayne too don't she probably 
Somewhere out there. Probably. But I'm saying, them. like, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, might yeah, have had money. 60 year old Madonna. <laughs> yeah. you know, She's not that bad. Like, <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> now, have, you seen, have you seen Madonna? Right? The 60 year old Madonna ain't that bad looking. Bro. I mean, she was kissing Drake in the mouth. Oh. I don't know. Lil Chucky might have had a chance. You know? oh, he probably girl. did have a chance. He just don't know about it. You know how celebrities were. But I can see Wayne coming as, like, a Madonna. guest star of what? Because him, him and Kendrick got songs together, but is he. Rocking mm. with Kendrick right now. I don't think that Kendrick. I don't. I don't, that I, don't, I, don't I don't. I don't think that we gonna <laughs> see Wayne. You know what I'm saying? I think that I've seen crazy shit at the Super Bowl. I think that this was a bold move, honestly speaking. Um, with with Master P being over it, I am very surprised that he didn't push for more of a New Orleans like because that nigga really could have made the Super Bowl. Hold on, hold on. Master P ain't over shit. I mean Jay Z. Jay Z. But, well, but I heard it wasn't Jay Z decision either. It was the uh, Super Bowl producer. It's, uh, uh, it's, the, it's a they, whole lot of they shit. They come they come up with a short list of maybe like four, three or four people, yeah. and the city decides who they want to. That's the whole, crazy. That's yeah. a whole city yeah. committee. Okay, that's to do make, it. that makes so sense. So the, the city but, of New Orleans picked. Kendrick. Yeah, the, that's ho- the, the host. I mean, he the was, hottest nigga on earth right now. You take the host committee that be betting for the suppose <clears throat> it's right. that group of people that actually do it. Yeah. 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 Now, <laughs> the thing with that shit though is that the host <clears throat> committees they may not look like the city. Right, exactly. right, 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 right. Of course. Exactly. So of course. that's the thing. But we gotta you think gotta about think. Too. Kendrick is the hottest nigga on earth right yeah, now. Came, Wayne ain't even by like not by by technicality. That, that's not All even right. the point, bro. You got I, hold on. I, I, I'm gonna be real. That nigga Kendrick could spit literally what? on on what? an album, and and if he and I mean Hawk too, and if he Whoa. did, All right, don't ever do that. Paul, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> that's insane. Paul, Man, that's insane. Sketchy, that's insane. Man. Sketchy joke. And I'm clipping that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> made that the main clip. <laughs> Before you get your shit off, Jeff, I know you long winded. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get this hot. I'm gonna get this hot take off, and we gonna we gonna get all the way into the topic, bro. Let's be honest. That Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef, that shit killed hip hop. That shit sped up the death of hip hop. It did no good. I saw this going to derail the conversation. It did, it I saw did, that in the it did no good for <laughs> hip hop at all. It did. And we seeing and we seeing the the results of it. Cause right now, this nigga Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar is literally the only rapper doing shit right now. He the only rapper charting right now. That is not good. You seen that? It just like you see all these rappers just dropping out. Them shit's doing twenty k, ten k. That is not good. Future about to drop a mixtape. <clears throat> It was a mixtape. Uh, shout oh. out to my dog Steve. <laughs> Steve engineered that shit. Oh, that's a future one. mixtape. I yeah. mean, oh, same thing as the song. Kendrick only been dropping songs. He had to drop an album in how long now? It, well, it's probably gonna be one after that performance. Oh, it will have to be at this well, point. You got to drop an album. When the last time Kendrick dropped an album that um twenty twenty two. Yeah, twenty twenty two. He's been dropping songs, bro. Just, yeah, he, he, dro- dropped and he dropped a song. That's the only thing. <clears throat> Did you see this nigga Travis Scott? He had to do some. He just dropped the uh, what's it? Days before rodeo, mm. it came out. Oh, yeah, he re released it. 10 year yeah. anniversary. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's awesome. He did a bunch no, of like really. finesse shit. It went, the thing went number two. He sold like 300. They said it's about to have the biggest dip in Billboard history. It's like a 95% dip. That's it's insane. About to sell like, it went from selling like 300K. That bit about to sell like 10,000 copies. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm going to buy the rights to it. Wow. Like, Get it loyal, I'm buy the rights to that shit, crazy. bro. Wow. <laughs> bro, hip hop is on life support right now. And I think that beef sped it up. Cause now you seeing, all right. So we seeing all these niggas. Not everybody picking sides, yeah. and that's mm. not good. Hip hop need unity. Well, yeah. here's here's what I'm gonna say. One, labels are not supporting real music anymore. We we we're literally just going after good beats. You know what I'm saying? Not hmm. even that. They're going about good personalities more so. That's that's real. Well, but least, there's least, no other genre past, that's doing it. We past the dance era. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Because I'd much rather <laughs> the dance need. era. I was gonna say yeah. I'd much rather the yeah. dance era. I hate it. Uh, there's nobody <clears throat> that's that's no other genre that's doing that though. Pop ain't doing that. Country ain't doing that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Country trying to keep them niggas from getting in. You get what I'm Shibuzi saying? Shibuzi knocked that dude down like a bitch. Right. Now, I know people have their opinion about Shibuzi, but I, I fuck with bro. I, know I fuck with Shibuzi. Man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that we, 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 we got our opinions and shit, but we can't act like Lil Nas ain't kicked that door down. 
Lil Nas he X. He kicked the fuck out of that door down there. Yeah. <laughs> Lil Nas X. Then he tore that door down. I don't know that he closed it. <laughs> I think that this. I think Lil Nas X really sparked a lot for a lot of people in the sense that we became more accepting to like people we expect to rap or people we expect to sing or whatever. Do whatever. Doing anything. Mm. Unfortunately, you can even say <laughs> my Instagram tried. as of late has been littered with white female rappers. And, mm. you know, this ain't no offense. You know what I mean? But I just personally don't care to hear that, right? Yeah. But as I'm looking at them, I'm like, okay, she's about to sing. And then I'm hearing the <laughs> rap, and it's like, all right, let me at least hear this out because it might be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. This is one just, of the white chick I fuck with. It's um, true. She be sliding. I and I don't, I, I, again, just fuck. I don't say, I don't say but, this with no offense, but. But I did see your point about that, and I, I, I do think I do got some agreements with because of you brought up uh, it wasn't you somebody else on on your Twitter brought up the point of um, you have Kendrick who's pretty much the last of a dying breed, which yeah. is the closest to pure hip hop that you can get. Well, I guess on a mainstream level, it's still right. lots that's, of that, that's but it. it's so that's deep it. in the underground, yeah. right? And then you have Drake representing, uh, like we say, this eight away, this new evolution, damn near a whole new genre of music in a way that he's kind of created with a whole another group of artists and yeah you're trying to pick between the two me personally i'm not a drake guy personally yeah. but i i mean i i, I give him respect for what he was you doing now all that other shit huh you don't want to sing and dance no not he don't do it for me bro he don't, yeah. he don't like you don't like faking the jamaican accent on the song nah, he's saying like, like, i can't whoop the uh nah, i can't, can't whoop the drink no, <laughs> you can't whoop the drink no i cannot no nah, i mean you I can't whoop the drink damn. Bro. honestly never mind has some whoop songs on it that was the dance album he made yeah that was right. oh yeah the, the, yeah i remember hearing about that but yeah. no, nah they don't give you that whoop vibe. he just don't give me anything that like Gets my emotion in any I can respect capacity. That. Yeah. Drake is good when I feel like like that's the shit you know like when you put put a show on to, to go to sleep to yeah, on yeah, the TV. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Drake music yeah. for me. Like yeah, I put Drake, Drake on when I'm Drake got some like, amazing songs. Like, like, like Drake and rap and shit. Like yeah. I'm not taking Drake credit away makes, from him. It ain't like none of that. It just yeah. he just it's like the Jay Cole shit. Like Jay Cole can rap, but sometimes he just ain't for everybody. Right. And I'm gonna be honest, man. Like as of late, I think the beef. That's part caused for me to look at J. Cole a little different. You know what I'm saying? From what perspective? He took a L. He took a huge oh, L. Oh, he took a huge L. But I think it, pussy. I think it really made you look at his personality. And now that you listen to other songs, it's like listening to Lil Tecca. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. God damn. Shit. And so I'm not trying wild. to like. Yeah. I'm not trying to be that nigga. But it's like, yo, for years, nigga. I remember since like I was 18. Hearing J. Cole saying, like, yo, I'm 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 the dopest nigga, right? Yeah. This was your chance. Let me You've never had no beef. But yeah. real quick, I did want to say yeah. this. Uh, uh just about why hip hop is dying. The labels are all trying to exploit every artist. We only choose a handful of artists and we exploit like we exploit them on the radio. Yeah. So the radio really cycles through what, 15 songs? It's mm. that now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. One, one and then every two hours, song you are gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. something about every two hours, like you said. Exactly, yeah. thirty minutes sometimes. Shit, so, I mean, not like us, probably getting like every twenty. Bro, God right? Damn, damn, you can't go nowhere no and not hear like that, that shit. Like that, and that's a good that's point. Crazy. So, uh, <clears throat> hip hop today <clears throat> is not gonna be what we know as hip hop. Hip hop, like moving forward, when you say hip hop is dead, I think hip hop is actually. In the grand scheme of things, I know I, no one wanted this. Let me not say dead. It's like a purgatory. Nah, I'm gonna say this. I wanna say purgatory. I'm gonna say this, I and say this this, this is the probably the, the hottest take. I think hip hop is at its climax right now. It's at its biggest point. It's unfortunate mm -hmm. that we lost every bit oh, of control. So. Here's why I say you have every person in every genre tapping into rap every day. I seen some, I saw some white, Japanese niggas white, with some uh, drill music. The all of that. That's <laughs> cultural appropriation. That ain't the. But that's what like I, them just like taking what, from the game. But they that's rap, where but again they I go rap, back to saying that hip hop as we know it is gonna change. <clears throat> hip hop as we know it is all black. That's supposed what you're talking about. Realistically, it's supposed to be. What else? Was hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get. Let me, let me say this real quick. All right, so back on the J. Cole, the J. Cole shit is another reason why hip-hop is dead. For hip-hop to be at its at its highest 
we got to have multiple rappers at the top. One of the rap. So before Kendrick, because let's be honest, dog. What it, what is sad about this shit is, Eric, and I, this is coming from a Kendrick fan. Nobody yeah, a big Kendrick too. fan than me. The, the, the bad part about this is everybody like on Kendrick's side. And this nigga don't drop music like that. That's so what I'm saying. Like the right. Lauryn Hill of rap. So, so right. the, so the two <laughs> it's big... very hard to just defend this nigga at times. Yeah, nigga drop, like, nigga drop shit when he was... feel like it. Like, yeah, think about right. it. Before that Future song that started all this, what did he drop he before that? But it's like, like, like the number one thing years. people, like I tell people, like, you know, th- this is where this is where I got to interject. And I think that is very unfair for us, honestly speaking, mm-hmm. to put that much pressure on artists. Because if we're talking about the essence of hip hop and keeping it alive, it died because we got microwavable music. Niggas mm-hmm. can't come out with an album a year and produce quality songs for 10 years. Yeah. Oh, All very right. good. So let me say this. So uh, before Kendrick. Kendrick came out with the this shit and he pretty much spanked this nigga Drake. At the top, it was they, they shit. They dropped the song together. What is it? First person shooter. Yeah, Drake. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Drake and Cole was at the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I feel like hip hop wasn't in uh, the best shape, but it was like in a good place because we had two niggas at the top killing the shit. I think it was this coming nigga, back because underground on, on, on. was picking uh-huh. up. No, them niggas was just killing trash. Them niggas, even, I know niggas don't like all the Drake no, shit. No, no, no. I'm just saying it because. J. Cole had did a song with Benny the Butcher. It brought Benny the Butcher up, right? Yeah, so yeah, now, the it, level, yeah. like, we were seeing underground and mainstream starting to Connect, merge. Yeah, okay, like, let me, let me, yeah, get, and let that's me. that's the only reason I wanted to interject so you can continue. All right, so I'm glad you said that. We had this nigga J. Cole killing tracks. What he did, he did the Be a song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He went, went crazy. Kid, nigga, he won. I know, I, I know we don't really care about white people paperwork, but back, he won back to back. A rapper of the year on Complex, and he was like legit the rap. And this is coming from me. I don't really like J Cole like that. That nigga was the rap. He was like one of the. He was killing everything, and he had no album. Everybody, nigga, he, was the hottest. he had yeah, he was he the was hottest good. rapper, bro. He like was. he was spanking <clears throat> niggas on their own track. Put balls. me to sleep. So it's just nigga, <laughs> <laughs> green, bro. bro. Yeah. No, I'm not. So. You lucky that Stupid shit turned what? down. Press it again, oh dumbass God, boy. Bro. Nah, nah, press it again, so dumbass boy. So that don't happen boy. again, Go bro. Ahead. Let me Go turn ahead. that shit up. <laughs> I wanted that shit to echo in my yeah. ear, bro. <laughs> it didn't know. Oh, it didn't know. Oh, it it didn't know. All right, so this nigga, this, nigga, this nigga Cole made me listen to a Bia song. True. Now, and niggas, I was low-key anticipating this nigga album. That's crazy. He got in his, he got in his beef. Bro, nobody cared. J. Cole did a song with ASAP Rocky last week. Ass. Nobody, nobody oh, yeah. the song wasn't that bad. It was okay. Nobody gave a fuck. Man, that song ass, bro. I went say it. Cole verse is hard. The beat was hard. It was an Alchemist beat. Well, Alchemist one of my favorite producers. So I never really been a fan of Alchemist. I like the beat. Well, Devin, you listen to Monkey Tune, so I'm whoa, a, I'm, <laughs> is, that, is that super anti-black? <laughs> no, God damn, damn. yes, yeah, racist. God yeah. damn, <laughs> that was actually <laughs> shit. <laughs> and you, you laughed about you it. Was, that make it worse. You, you laughed. Jiggle boo tune. Damn, <laughs> jungle <laughs> bunny music. Is that what you call music. it? I, I but did he, oh, but did Cole that's, really that's, see like that? For him to to make the diss track, which it was good. I mean, it's cool. It's about seven. The whatever one that the one that he yeah, took down, whatever yeah, that yeah. shit called. Yeah, he took it down and that was pussy. Yeah. Yeah, and no, I was saying, like, what just in my head, like, what did he see that made him really want to take the down? It's not what he sees was gonna be Kendrick, that deep. It's, it's not Kendrick even that on that I nigga, think, bro. I don't That's even think I, I don't even You think even he had something on that. cold? Or? He, oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. Definitely. He paid that quick as well. He apologized on stage. Yeah, he got something. He got what? He said schoolboy Q went up to him and told him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, you're right. He said, yeah, get up out this beef. Yeah. Yeah, this shit's really good. I do remember that, though. I I 100% (laughs) won. I think the Cole and Kendrick album never came out because Kendrick saw something in Cole. saw something, Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, man, I'll be saying this. I'll be saying it on the Patreon when me and Banks will be recording. I think this nigga Cole, he got some, like, family shit going on. Mm. Cause I don't know if you I listen. That. I, if you listen to a lot of his verses, bro, that nigga All rapping. He rapping like a single man. All of it. He on. Oh, he what's what song is that? And he not said, just that. When he raps about his wife, he talks about heartache. He was on that future mm-hmm. album. The uh, I still don't trust. We still don't trust. I know it's like, yeah. Cole was on that bit. Tom song. He need three bitches. All that. Yeah. He said he need, He said he in. Uh, he said he pretty much rapping like he was single. So I was like that nigga got something going on in his personal life. 
and Kendrick knew about, about that it, shit, yeah. and he was gonna tap in on that shit. That's what it was. Yeah. It's like it's a reason why you moved to New York and you be riding the bikes, nigga. Hey, you up there by yourself. Hey, stop <laughs> cheating on your wife. <laughs> Get in the other whole OnlyFans they pipe. Like, well, what? I, I mean, I don't even think it's just that. I think Cole has probably done a lot of shit in the industry that that Kendrick could probably they, talk about. You know what I'm saying? And they called us some dick, bro. Nah, I ain't saying that. It's possible. It's possible. He probably got dick. He probably got dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we act like. So we acting like so we acting like that's not a thing now. Now we acting like no. I ain't saying I ain't putting that on that man. What I'm saying is this: I do think Cole was like I'm just saying it's the truth. I do think Cole was oblivious to Jay Z, basically like little boy in that nigga throughout his career. You know what I'm saying? And Kendrick probably is finna like talk about the one was finna talk about that. Just I ain't never been in your position. You know what I mean? Crying on records about trying to be the best type shit. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to like, again, I'm a huge Cole fan. I'm a huge Kendrick fan. I think Kendrick legit was finna murder that nigga. Yeah, it had to be something where the nigga that brags about him being the hottest rapper and he said he could destroy any nigga on the track. Well, I'm gonna like why take his like what is it take their ball? Right? Yeah, yeah, take take it tail. Be, yeah, yeah, it had to be something serious. And <clears> I think <throat> this, I think on a deep level, Cole no, he can't rap with Kendrick consistently. Yeah. That's yeah, why that's that. why we've never seen a, a a real record with him. So, question: What all this got to do with who y'all picking to perform at the Super Bowl? I mean, that's... I don't know. You're kind of segue, because we got... It's segue, because... I think I'm trying to question out the thing and everything. Well, I see Oprah. Kendrick, 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 Kendrick is performing, so yeah, that's it how I said. Oh, so that's what you want, though? I, I was actually about to bring it home. So, so Joe said Lil Wayne. No, 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 no. I said, no, no. I, I said Lil Wayne. Who said Lil Wayne? I said Wayne. My, I got CT. Well, I said CT. I don't think Wayne has the marketability to do... And I'm not. I'm not trying to like again. Huge uh-huh. Wayne fan. Okay, okay, okay. I, I don't agree with that. But hold up, Devin, you said Wayne. What yeah. has Wayne done hold over on, the last on, five on, years? Five years, nigga. He's been putting hold out because you haven't listened to no many people that listen. I'm talking to about on a major scale, nigga. It's, it's plenty of people more popping. I'm about to set you up, Joe. So Devin said Wayne. That's another reason why I said hip hop is dead and niggas is picking sides. That's what killed hip hop. We got niggas disrespecting Wayne and he's a fucking legend. Yeah. We got him saying we got niggas saying Wayne can't do a Super Bowl. They saying Wayne ain't got enough songs to do a Super Bowl. That's insane. That's a man. form of killing hip hop where we shit on our legends. And yeah. that's insane. Yeah. And, and also, and it's the only also that dude nigga, if you remember the one in LA, if you remember the one in LA, Snoop wasn't popping. Dre wasn't popping. Goddamn, Mary J was on power, but well, they all was at the Super Bowl. Yeah, no, you don't, nigga, Snoop, you don't have to be popping. Was Snoop is Bowl. always popping. No, no, he, no, I'm Snoop is he always said, popping. He said, he said, he said, popping Dre musically, is, though. Dre is one of the, like, Dre is a mogul, nigga. There's no one realistically that is musically compared to Dre. Let's not say, okay, I'm not gonna say not musically. Say that's, that's, I mean, like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm, say, I'm, it's like I'm just, niggas I'm than just saying like this. I'm gonna just say it like, no, I'm oh. saying it from a perspective of what Dre has done for niggas, what Dre has done for the game itself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we wait, without waiting, we wouldn't have Nicki Minaj. There's, there's, there's a difference between being popping and being, I think y'all niggas need me to say they're a legend. There's always gonna be relevant. For, so they had, I mean. they had Rihanna perform the Super Bowl. Rihanna have to drop an album. That's what I'm saying. Like niggas, but, niggas that be doing, team. but it don't matter. Her, her name is trending on on Twitter. Her name is trending everywhere, you, see, almost every month. You're proving my point. To be at the Super Bowl, you got to be a legacy act. And why, that's what why, I'm saying. So yes. why are we disrespecting Wayne? Because he's it's not city. He's a legacy act. He's we haven't we have we haven't appreciated him in that regard though. We as the community, that's why I'm saying Wayne doesn't have that marketability. And that's, and that's an issue. And bro, that's Wayne why I agree no shit, that bro. the way I'm not saying hip hop is dead. I'm saying hip hop is changing. Hip hop today does worst. not appreciate <laughs> legacy. Right. Hip hop today, hip hop today has not appreciated legacy for what the last five to ten years. These niggas that come in today do not talk about any legend it prior never, to never has. They never but has niggas definitely them. but they, niggas definitely they go to Wayne because Wayne also started no, a lot of guys in the industry we had this nigga Game sport. Talk song 38 still rapping Ugh. yeah niggas never yeah. respected legends ever yeah. they never yeah. respected yeah. rap being a, a timeless genre it's always been a young man game <laughs> but now when you bring up because you brought up the Dre and Snoop thing and for me that was a bigger moment I think for hip hop but now that you bring that up they was in they to me that was 
a climax that hip hop finally made it. One hundred percent. When they did that, Dre got beats by because Dre because that so wasn't about that was business just, mogul, yeah. music mogul. That nigga. particular performance wasn't about it. It just happened that the niggas was from LA and it was in LA. That was more so like a, this is that change. Yeah, because when they when they announced the Super Bowl performance. They said Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Yeah, they didn't know them. It was just, Dr. It was just yeah. Dr. Dre and Snoop yeah. Dogg. Dr. Dre was like, all right, we if you're going to appreciate me, you got to appreciate me whole. You got to appreciate people, artists I brought on. And he had 50 Cent perform. Exactly. Yeah, Eminem. And they have for, no, no music for 50 Cent. And, how and that's where, again, hold on, hold on. That's where, again, I go back to say, we really do got to, when we talk about this shit, we really do got to appreciate the services that niggas have provided. Dr. Dre is one of them niggas that has always put on for every nigga that he's helped. Yeah. Made sure every one of them, down to Kendrick Lamar, who he has no real direct ties to, has always made sure them niggas ate, them niggas was good, them niggas elevated in a similar regard. They might not be as big as Dre, but everyone that has ever encountered that relationship with him has Ice Cube, 50 Cent, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Eminem, who else? Shit, the I game. mean, the game, yeah. Kendrick Lamar, like every nigga that has encountered him has realistically become their own mogul in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Except so, the game. He, well, well, yeah, 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 he sabotaged yeah. himself. Yeah, several times. Yeah. yeah, that was all He sabotaged, him. sabotaged <clears throat> himself countless times over even like you saying him disrespecting the legends game does shit that niggas don't appreciate because <laughs> not every nigga is in game culture so that's cool to the west coast that's cool in certain regards but not every nigga is listening to that and saying i'm gonna pick you this new nigga that raps with this particular style you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying yeah over a nigga that's more versatile so Hip hop is definitely changing, and I'm saying it only to say today we are more accepting for a nigga like B a, a cracker like BLP Kosher to come into the game and and become a really big name. Sixteen year old artists have more popularity than some of the major artists. You get what I'm saying? So today, like you said, it's always been a young man's game, but today and watch, and watch when them niggas drop an album, that shit gonna do fifteen k. Yeah, all of it's gonna do poo. Yeah. I just all of it's gonna do poo. I just seen that nigga little Tyler just drop down. I bet they like ten k. Yeah, they yeah. Really yeah. but they're and not they, marketing they him. Yeah, they're, they're not they. marketing him in the right way. The only way they market little Tyler is on social media. Yeah. They're trying to build a core following for him, but the thing about it is his mark his his time for like exposure is right now because people would be able to watch him grow and develop. This isn't a little bow wow. You know what I'm man. saying? This is a grown ass man we're talking about that has the talent, that has the marketability, that has the whole package realistically. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna watch him grow in his career. They're trying to keep him in that. Essentially, I hate to say it like this, that nigga is in today's chitlin circuit. To Don't where, hate to say that. You'll be accurate. You'll be to accurate. where today he's he's performing <clears throat> alongside like other acts that have less songs than him that are that mm -hmm. are charting or not charting but doing real numbers. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's performing with artists that he's going to surpass in a matter of two years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. he'll be doing the next Super Bowl when they go to Miami. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So what you was bringing on Joe pretty much, that's just like basically artist development. Yeah, I'm just that's saying. That's all it is. I, I, I shouldn't we brought, lost that. I shouldn't have brought up Lil Tyler. I think that, that what he's doing, I think he's in a good place right I now. I think he's in an amazing place, but now, I do got, think that. Now we got artists, established motherfuckers like Megan Thee Stallion. Who dropped, who doing she did 20K. Like, yeah, she did like 20 something yeah. K. And even even showing her marketing, marketing the only on the too. only time you hear about Megan K, I mean uh, Megan Thee Stallion is when she's attached to something messy, I don't or know. she's twerking. I don't agree with that. Or she's talking about anime for the last she what just, two had, three years she, we've been talking about the shooting. She be talking she about anime. A, she just had a sold out tour. That's not true. Anime and she got she got a big she in the anime community now. That's a big following. Yeah, that's a whole. I don't know if you lane. believe that or not, yeah, but that's a whole. I don't agree with that. I'm following. not saying it. I'm I'm just I'm just telling you my perspective of things. It like, shit. I'm just saying it shit only be one hot rapper. That's no, no, no. It definitely and shouldn't. And but I don't want to blame this on Kendrick because no, that's the culture of hip hop. That's what we've created it to be since the birth of the shit. And I've been a big Kendrick since Kendrick fan since 2009. 
And like, bro, he his shit got announced for the Super Bowl. That's supposed to be like a monumental moment. As soon as he got announced, oh man, why they ain't pick Wayne? Yeah. You know why I they say the thunder away from hip hop is dead. And why I would agree with you. We as artists don't even let artists sample music we've created. Yeah. If it's not respected yeah. in the community, yeah. how's it going to be respected by those that admire the community? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of things to it. I don't think hip hop was ever created to be a. Not to say. Fuck it. A controlled genre. Look at how country is regulated. Yeah, they yeah. gospel they told, regulated. They told nigga. Beyonce, you ain't get no, you ain't get no award from us. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? That new video she just put out uh, the other day. Yeah, that they she they don't Bro, I, we done they seen BT give Justin radio. Timberlake awards. Yeah, yeah. Sam, Sam Smith was in the ranking. Yeah. Sam Smith won album of the year you twice. Won, yeah. Won it twice. No, nah, he won best new artist. Best you new get artists. what I'm saying? Yeah. What the fuck are we doing? So we don't gatekeep. That nigga, yeah, about to say that nigga don't even. No, no, no. We gatekeep. We gatekeep. We can't keep the niggas. Mm. That's why today yeah. mm. every artist is on Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. Them niggas know I don't need the label no more. Now that we got this kind of visibility, again, shout out to La Russell. All this shit is documented on the internet. You can buy the little uh uh all everything you need to know about music industry. All of it's written to show you how to be successful for yourself. It's just about scaling, right? Yeah. For artists today, all you got to do is have a little, a little popularity on Instagram. And then you can sell 100 units, 1,000 units, 10,000 units, 20. And now you're getting 50 people at your show to 200 people at your show to 500 to 1,000 people at your show. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's not going to be everywhere you go. So fuck them little videos to where you performing in front of 10 people. Man, keep doing all of that shit. Oh, we got a guest caller, nigga. I don't know fuck. Probably Eric. He heard he heard Joe talking shit about hip hop, so he's like, "Well, I gotta intervene." Intervene right now. <laughs> My spidey senses are tingling. Uh, what the fuck? Stop. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. All right, so another shit pick side on the picking side shit. So yeah, this nigga Master P. This nigga said. Salute to Kendrick Lamar for performing at the halftime show at the Super Bowl. I don't know my Roman numerals. Roy deserve. He's oh, one of the 59. hottest uh, school. Art. I went to Kirby Smith and Wilson. Uh, hottest music artist in the world. And has one of the biggest songs right now. As it is. He's just a bunch of shit. Just telling, calling the mayor and shit. Look, he's snitching. Like, hey, man, come on. That, that, hey, Master P. Well, didn't Master P say that shit? The cake been baked, woe Yeah, he yeah, said that. The, yeah, yeah. the cake, no, that was Birdman. That Birdman shit. said the cake been baked. Well, well nigga, I the think, cake been baked, nigga. They already picked who it is. You can't, you can't tell no, tell on nobody. And I don't even think it's that deep to where people, you know what I'm saying, want well, Wayne to do some. It's because Wayne always, so, anytime oh, you hear a song about, anytime you hear a song about Wayne, you hear about him shouting out New Orleans. They just want that man to perform in his city. That's all it was. It's, it's not, not that even that. It it's is definitely a, that. No, no, no. For every genre, like, that's a win for everyone, everything, every time. If something, happened, if, if something <clears throat> happened in Jacksonville and there was a Jacksonville artist that had enough popularity nationally to be able to, you know what I'm saying? That's a moment whether you're here or in fucking Tokyo to be able to say, do, you know what I'm saying? But it feels hey, that's my city. That's that's a nigga I went to school with. That's a nigga I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if it's, and home, that's how it's niggas, homegrown. That's how niggas feel about Lil Wayne in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he homegrown. They my cousin fuck with Lil Wayne. Like my, everybody know. Yeah. Everybody know. So it's one of those things to where he could he could perform next year. That's like who performed who, who the Wayne? Uh, all right, one last one on the Wayne. Because <laughs> could you bring up a good point too? Cause now that I think about it, like Wayne is that one where like he literally grew up in hip hop mm-hmm. as far as in the, mean, like we grew up with him yeah. right like, your mama that's like, the little she know Wayne she and take. she knows yeah. Snoop like them the two rappers she know right yeah. like so everybody so it's like if he did that shit it's like my baby done made it type yeah. shit so 100% I, I guarantee so, you more people not don't even know just that. Songs hold on hold on Kendra Lamar songs. not even just that I'm gonna tell I'm you huge, what it would be for us I'm a huge Kendra Lamar guy and I would say the same thing though today 
we look at everybody and we say, are these industry plants? Are they this? Are they yeah. that? Right? And uh, Kendrick Lamar been groomed in the industry for longer than a lot of the niggas that we talk about as industry plants, right? Oh yeah. So when we like when we talk about industry plants, it's always funny to me because there's a lot that goes into that. But I say it to say. And I don't mean groomed in no crazy no, way. I know what I'm you saying mean, as like an they artist. Put, they put, yeah, yeah. Also, everybody no. on the West Coast put that rocket also, behind him. Yeah, yeah I remember that. He was fucking with Diddy. He was fucking with Drake. He because was at that time, like, Dom, Dom from had like 14 nip on, years old. Dom mm-hmm. and Nip on top of the, of the West Coast at that time period. And they said, no, they throwing it on King. Right. Yeah. And, they, and they all, you know, they did their own thing. But they all was like, okay, that's when we're going to ride with. Right, right. Because, I mean, you got to follow the train. But I say all of that to say... um, for Wayne, I think that niggas in our generation, especially, it would be that mo- like it's a nostalgia moment. It's a because everyone has been able, like you said, old and young. It's people way younger than us that that love went Lil Wayne, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so everybody would be able to appreciate that. But the the age demographic that the NFL is really targeting, that's a nostalgia moment for everyone. I, I find it so funny that in the midst of all of this, Lil Wayne is like trending on every social platform they, from. Could they slander? Man? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I'm talking about from the 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 mm. the, the uh, them doing the little rapping TikToks and shit. Uh, mm. The white boy was like, um, "Me in seventh grade as my teacher asked if I was listening, and he had his headphones in, rapping canon and shit like that." I seen like ten different videos of that. Yeah, you can't. It's a Wayne definitely got a catalog that you can't really perform in a well, family. No, 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 no. Super Bowl Wayne setting. has a catalog that you could perform anywhere in the, the world around. on any time of the like any day of the week. Wayne has a song for everybody that was released mainstream. So you saying you would hear if you heard "I Need a Hot Girl." At the Super Bowl. No, nigga, that's not one okay. of his biggest records. Yes, how is it not? Nigga, you know how, how many was plays it not? That shit, that Wayne shit was, was not Wayne uh, with the Hot Boys. I don't think he'll perform that. He'll perform like. No, I'm just saying, that'd be funny. You never he know what he'll perform. He'll perform a milli. Uh, let the I was beat thinking build. about a milli. Six foot, seven foot. You get what I'm let saying? The was, let the beat build. He will perform some of his features. Wayne could have one of the best sets just off his features alone. If yeah. he brought some of those artists out, which would be a great look for all of them as well, you get what I'm saying? Wayne could probably have the greatest Super Bowl performance ever. So, nigga, are you against Wayne performing or are you for Wayne performing? Yeah. I mean, is it, bro? You're on switch like, sides, so spinning time. Place. Nah, I'm on both sides. I'm just saying it to say. <laughs> but from that's a, the from duality a of him marketing of, situation. Though. Right. And right. from a marketing standpoint, if I had to choose personally, I would say, damn, I'm going... Uh, Kendrick, the Wayne that I I grew up loving is not the Wayne that I see today. I understand people change and there's evolution, but I've seen Wayne on stage and not remember his lyrics. I don't think that that would happen at the Super Bowl, but I do think, hey. You only perform in 13 minutes, so you gotta, when you perform, you gotta do a medley of songs. You don't don't gotta remember a whole song. Yeah, Yeah. I'm not not saying his hit song between 08 till now. That's what he performed. You could do Fireman. Six foot, seven foot. He could could go do six. People, I know people slaying there in a lollipop, but bro, that's a diamond. No, that was that was one of his lollipop biggest songs in the world, record. bro. Shit. Lollipop was that. an amazing record. I ain't gonna he probably was. Oh, he's he he probably he's on the Super Bowl. I don't like lollipop, but that shit went diamond. So that you gotta shit is amazing. Nigga, nigga. 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 had Prince at the Super Bowl, bro. Prince hadn't had an album in forever. It's bro. I was going crazy. Prince was different, and Prince wasn't consistent. Prince was different though. Prince didn't even do his own songs at the halftime performance. Like he did other people's shit. That's what I'm yeah. saying. And, like, he, and he was there. So like the issue is the city just didn't want the Wayne. hosting committee. I ain't gonna put they it didn't on the want Wayne. The hosting I don't think committee. That, I think they looked at it and said, "What would made bring? A business decision. What would bring more for the community right now? Kendrick is the hottest artist on earth right this second. Let us choose him because that train is not gonna die between now and February." I think it's going to die beneath 9 February. Cause no, it's not. It's, not. it's, that nigga ain't crank up. Up. it's, it's really you cracking up. Every There's rumors that he's, he's right going to drop an album. There's rumors, but is it unless that nigga said Until he doesn't drop an album, those rumors continue to build and grow. They've been doing the same thing for <laughs> Frank Ocean. They've been doing the same yeah. thing for fucking rumors Rihanna. Don't sell records, They've been doing the, they I were think, doing the same thing for think, Adele before her last album. I think yeah. even without the Super Bowl, he was going to drop an album. He was going to be dumb if he wasn't going to drop an album with his momentum. Rumors don't sell records, though. 
Nigga, as you I said, know, like, know, that's, that's, that's what's Roman happening I know Roman don't now. sell records, but I, kind of, I think it's kind of obvious he's doing another album. His, yeah. engin- his engineer said he was dropping the album. He's and out. not even yeah. just yeah. that. I think that he was doing <laughs> all of that shit with Baby Keen to tell everyone, hey, I am still rapping. I'm Ooh, working yeah. on I another like that project. Baby Keen. I do like that shit. Right, because he's experimenting, like... He's just in a different place. We we shit on him for the time he's taken, but when has Kendrick let us down when it comes to music? The music he gives us, we appreciate differently because right. there's nobody else doing it like that. All right, all right. Let me get my shit on, yo. You've been talking a lot. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to drink this fucking yeah, You really going to be talking, so, nigga? Nah, hold on, hold on. Nigga, I'm about to roll up. So let me, let me bring this shit home because we've been talking about this shit a long ass time. Damn near an hour. All right, so this nigga... Kendrick obviously was going to work on the album because me, to be honest, I don't know how y'all niggas feel. feel that Mr. Morales, what is it? Mr. Island and the Steppers? The Big Steppers. And the Big Steppers, that album wasn't good. Some of the way he dropped uh, the the last one. The last album dropped. Is it the one where we going to be all right on it? No, nigga. No, no, no. See, that's how the much one I got Kodak Butterfly. Oh. Well, yeah, bro, that was like damn it, ten years ago. Wow, <laughs> mm-hmm. Now, Mr. So Morales and the Big Steppers. Again. I don't. Yeah, if you would. He didn't have a big single, so if I name him, you wouldn't even know what I'm talking Thank about. You. Right, right, right. But um, it was a polarizing album. It wasn't a lot of people really didn't like that album. People gonna go I back see to the album because so. it was like his most personal. Like I was listening to some of it um earlier, and like it was most like a therapy session compared yeah, to his other shit. They got some songs talking about Monty's a man now. Yeah, that. Yeah, what? Well, how about am I supposed to relate to that, Kendrick? I think that's one of those <laughs> albums that you drop and. That might damn near be his 808 and heartbreaks in a way, though. No, like, that ain't no, 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 no. No, that's not what I mean. Songs, mm, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm like, saying. At a lot, like at a lost period of yeah, your like life, a, uh, and I do think yeah. that it was, it was real vulnerable. Like he got a song on there, talk, like admitting to cheating on his wife, yep. fucking white women, and yep. like whole, yeah. Drake could have just listened to that whole album and won the beef. Like no, he, he did literally did. Like, <laughs> he literally did. He did, and that's how he lost the beef. That's how he lost the beef because of listening to that. And then a lot of he was buying fake information from people no no yeah he dropped the heart he dropped the heart part listen to the heart part six mm. he was talking about he, i don't know we gotta look that's gonna look we're gonna look back on that and be like heart part six was not was a miss he went on the track thomas on a man i know you got molested by your uncle oh I'm like bro you didn't listen to that he said his, he said his i think he said his mom got molested by his uncle. yeah yeah and i was like bro you didn't listen to the album god damn but yeah the mr morales just talk about that shit talk <laughs> about his mom crazy. getting molested talk about his, his aunt, aunt, um aunt being a transgender Let's talk about a bunch of shit his um pops going through depression what he said his pops what he said his grandfather died and his pops had to go to work the next day mm-hmm. because if he didn't go to work yeah. none of the bills were paid so his pops is grieving mm-hmm. crying and he just got done doing a 20 hour shift at yeah. work I wanna hear about no, I wanna have none of that shit on no he album got a, what, you, like what I just said about your music taste Can, um, <laughs> nigga, that's, so, no nigga that's a, logically he speaking he got bro. a song talking about his pops getting robbed by fucking top dog. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, yeah. like, it's a really, really vulnerable album. Yeah, why the fuck would I want to listen to that? Like, Kendrick that, ain't that Kendrick, Kendrick, on, bro. Kendrick don't like, do many no. interviews. Kendrick is not an open book, right? Uh-huh. So this is his way of saying when you go back and listen to and when you go back and appreciate my music, here are the things that I struggled with. Here are the mm-hmm. things, here are the challenges that I face. And to be real, Mr. Morale really tells you, in my opinion, why he takes so long to make. I respect yeah. it because I respect exactly. it because it was, it was a very vulnerable album. But I'm like, sometimes I'll be like, man, I don't want to hear this shit. And I'll, the Never be able to be a movie. The but was, it was like one of them things where like, oh, he don't got a bad album, but this is his worst album. It's not bad. He don't. But it's have, his worst album. He don't have a bad. He don't album. have a bad The problem album. is the the replayability. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's hard. Hard. yeah. Like it's what, hard, but t- it's such hard to tell get me through. What, what move you got to be in to put on that album? When it's raining outside ask, and you fucking you, sad. I can ask like, you a question, but you don't like his music, so you and I didn't say I didn't like his nobody music. Make, nobody I said make, I didn't I didn't listen to nobody all his, makes like, music, all his music. Nobody like makes music like Kendrick, so I can't explain it to you. I'm gonna say yeah. this. You you're you're like not even being ignorant, right? I think it's 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 times in life to where you don't know how to deal with things, right? And music helps us to get through it. I never even if say, I can see that. Even I, if it's that. just Man, something soothing, right? Yeah. But in those times to where it might be somebody that comes to you and says, "Damn, I experienced this," right? Yeah. And and relatability. 
And in my life, it's never like you go and search that record, but as you're playing through shuffle and shit like that, the mm. song just so happens to play, and then you hear it, and it's like, damn, now I got a new perspective to it. I think it's one of those albums to where Kendrick is legit saying, I'm sacrificing for the sake of artistry. Yeah. In the sense... I can see it from that aspect. I'm leaving a real legacy of who Kendrick Lamar... Man, Kendrick been telling us who he is since the beginning of his career, right? I mean, mm. to a T. Mm. And there's never been an artist as open, honest, and vulnerable on record mm. as he is. We'll never hear another artist talk about his mother being molested by his uncle and him having to live and deal with mm. it. And the trauma that caused his mother to, to overprotect him. You get what I'm I've saying? I've heard Thug say some crazy shit too. No, you have that's different. You, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Thug punk? shit is so different. You never listen to punk, man. That nigga can't exactly. He's record. never listened to album punk. Hey, my, my mama he thought never I was gay. To it. No, but that's, I wasn't. He did. No, say that's not. Punk. He did that's say the, that's that. The but he also line of the album. that nigga said, bro. He also said about how his mom, uh, his mom was uh, cheating on the shit, uh, cheating on the sheriff with him and something. He came back and shot her or some shit like that. Like shot his sister, some shit like that. I don't this. think that happened for real. I think it was rapping. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm gonna I be honest. Know, bro. I wouldn't Based know. on Thug's <laughs> artistry, and I'm not saying that. There's not about, true thing. Dropping gems? Yeah, dropping gems. Drop gems. Yeah, listen, to dropping gems. Obviously, I'm not, I haven't heard the song yet. Yeah, nah. Was I mean, that, I'm was not that saying that that was on pump because he did it. He did the. I remember uh, he performed it, but I don't think it was on pump. No, nah, it's definitely it's on, on pump. pump. Yeah, because he uh he he did uh, most he did two I songs on pump. I'm gonna um, keep. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like. Pump. Watch his tiny disc. First watch of all, you're calling yourself a punk. That's crazy. Yeah, I think I think he meant like punk. <laughs> like the, the it's the genre like punk nah, rock bro punk he was head. wearing pink and everything no, like he was painting his nails and doing all kinds of crazy when pop when pop when pop got an O on it he that's was acting like he was selling pussy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay we haven't used that word in a while a of Jesus Christ <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's what he got stick stack bro stick stack stick stack that nigga crazy I never heard that term and well, I don't want to hear it no that more. That nigga was acting like he was playing pickup sticks. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm wrap this up with this man. This nigga I Bird. Mean, he was playing pickup sticks. This nigga Bird, sticks. man, bro. Definitely. He put that shit on Miss Gladys. Yeah, I don't know what y'all. That nigga no, Miss Gladys. He said, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, he, he said, did. Oh, yeah. Pussy. Yeah. He talking about Jay Z, but we have not brought up Jay Z yet. Yeah, he all, the puppet yeah. master behind that shit. <laughs> yeah, he didn't try the Super Bowl performances. Yeah, he's a producer, dude. Okay. That's the whole thing when I said the pick side shit. No, well, Wayne, you know Wayne, he did. He did. Wayne kind of stepped on his toes. You know, you know, you know what it was. Shit on Wayne. You know what it was. Yeah, that that Wayne, Wayne verse on uh, "Beat Without Bass." Uh, what's a beat without bass? He was like, "I'm 24. You 44. I'm, four. I'm Mercury. <laughs> I, come home when I'm 44. Yeah. Take that remember I'm that shit. I'm Mercury with him 44. Like, <laughs> come home when I'm 44. Uh, uh-uh, take that nigga off the fucking I'll list. I say some shit. Fuck whatever. I was like, oh yeah, this nigga Jay Z paid Wayne taxes. Bro, that, he did that what? so long ago. Bro. That, yeah. that, yeah. It, it don't man. take it takes three seconds to backstab a nigga. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga bring it up shit from like a thousand years ago. I honestly surprised they ain't tell Nikki to do it. I Nikki was crashing out. was crashing out. Nikki is dating a, uh, a, oh. a pedophile. Uh, and Jay Z got his own shit Nikki going Nikki on. Who knows, man? Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah she, she, she was crashing crazy. out. Crazy, crazy, man. She said, but this she is, said one nigga took a knee, the other nigga took the bag. He going to get you niggers in line every fucking time. She's talking about Jay Z and Kendrick. She said that nigga Kendrick tap dancing. Um, hey, that's, that's what he did shoot that ball in the commercial. He get you niggas every, 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 she said some more shit too. Uh, but this but is before. This is what everybody knew. It was the city that chose though. Here's she the said, thing, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing about her saying that. How can she say Kendrick? Read, read that, Joe. Read that. Yeah, this you is the that? one. Denying this a man. young black man oh, what he yeah. rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego. Your hatred for Drake and Nicki got you punishing Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne the GOAT. Nola was good. Eminem stood firm on having 50 Cent come out a white. Yeah, that's it. I, uh, I forgot to add them. Uh, oh, I it's forgot. probably like a white man I forget, I forgot for that happened. They didn't want 50 Cent performing that Drake shit. Eminem had to like. 
Oh, oh really? Yeah, they use his white privilege. Yeah, they use his white privilege card. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> they said she said a young black man is Kendrick Lamar Portuguese. I saw that. I saw yeah. that too. I, yeah. I, I stopped reading after the young, young black man. Yeah. Young black I stopped reading after the young black man. And I hate, I hate when people try and use that. Try to tell, try, uh, try to tell y'all, but wanted brunch. Yeah, I wanted to talk about the Rock Nation brunch. Uh, she said, "I tried to tell y'all, but y'all wanted brunch." She said, she "I'm said, on a fucking roll. Wait, hacked, hacked, man, Nikki Green. I'm she, gonna be honest. She, she, hit, she probably she, she hit that coke pack. Yeah, boy, I was gonna say she did a mountain of coke. Still be though. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny though. She said, "Y'all wanted brunch." She said, "Y'all tap dancing for that brunch." I don't even think they do the Rock Nation brunch no more. I don't uh, know. Not I after they seen so. bro, them big ass roadblocks. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what did it. <laughs> that's what they did. say, we can't do this no more. If niggas gonna dress like they drunk. <laughs> yeah, bro. I didn't even know Nikki was, I didn't know Nikki was uh, beefing with like Beyonce and Jay and all that shit. I, I didn't know, know neither. I mean, yeah. The, what? What, I mean, what? like, like a, I, it's not a common Nikki thing. And Have B's I been something? going at it for like who's number one of like, like Nikki want to be top dog of everything. Oh, that's I fair. don't think that's all first. Right. Of, first of all, Beyonce don't rap. Mm. Nikki won't talk. Sometimes I'll Beyonce don't rap. Let's, let's be, Sometimes let's let's them raps be ass. So, boy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Jay Z need to quit writing that shit. Future wrote uh, "Drunk in Love." You are ignorant. First of he all, wrote, he wrote. He wrote, but she wasn't rapping on that shit. Was yes, she? she was. That surfboard shit. That surfboard. Uh, line, she was rapping on that shit. Common, that was a bad shit. I ain't gonna hold it. The common denominator is Beyonce love love Megan the Stallion. Mm. Nikki probably don't like that shit. Mm. 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 But we we done with it. We done with this shit. I feel like we was talking about that a little too long. Uh, wah, 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 rest wah, in peace, James Earl Jones. Hey, yeah, y'all Twitter most people. Go. All right, we, we go, I'm gonna say my shit later. But I ain't know he did the Jaguars. Yeah, the ninety yeah. three shit. <laughs> my, hey, I knew that. I found out about that last year. Uh, somebody just posted on their Facebook, and I'm like, that's is that goddamn James Earl Jones. You, did you know this about? Yeah, Mar- I found and out. I didn't a Jags did, fan. Uh, this nigga, <laughs> Channel yeah. Forehead, did like I, I heard uh, it when I was four years old. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I was there when he recorded. I was like, like that. Why don't that was the first time I held they a camera. They did a documentary on like the history of how we got the Jags. So they played yeah. the clip of that shit, and they were like, yeah, so we got James Earl Jones. I'm like, how the I still wonder, like, how the fuck do we got to He called it a city of dreams. Nah, he lied. So we can thank him for actually getting us the Jaguars. Be quite Shout honest, out to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Mufasa that. with I the Mufasa. I was say, ain't this like the Gator Bowl? Yeah, yeah that's the Gator Bowl. That's so I'm about to say, that yeah. don't that's look before like that. Yeah, that's right before the team, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right before the team came. Well, it was official, yeah. Um, fuck you. Damn. Maybe one day Pensacola get a football team. Oh, man. Maybe it'll be Kendrick Lamar fucking. Man, speaking of football team. We're going to get a. Yeah, I saw. Beat I just Devin saw that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, fight. Man, y'all was showing y'all ass. Even though he was wilding, we got to, like, we got to still kind of respect our legends. I was, I was seeing a bunch of, like, women and stuff. They were saying, fuck it, James Earl Jones. Even though he was wilding, he, he pretty much dropped a video. He was slander. wilding a lot. He bro. was slandering yeah. black women. Yeah, definitely. Damn. Yeah, so I was like, I heard. I like, can't really say much. I was like, I heard a lot about that. <laughs> but so also, going, that's the question. <laughs> he spoke a lot also about like the the trials and tribulations, what it mean to be a black man in America too, though. Yeah. and that's the shit that be hitting me. Yeah, that's what yeah, hit so me too. Like, that's yeah. why you father of the year, and I'm not because I ain't listen to the whole thing. Well, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's. <laughs> This nigga was the voice of Darth Vader, bro. So, hey. like, so, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, how early? How like how? At what point do we like need to like bring up certain stuff? Because when some once Jim Brown died, mm. everybody was like, man, fuck that nigga, bro. Yeah, he they said that a lot. Yeah, they said he threw his wife off the balcony. And I didn't like know that shit. Yeah, I didn't uh, know yeah, all that shit came no out idea. after the fact. No, I'm was, like, whoa. I, I thought, bro, yeah, was I didn't know that. How high was the balcony though? Gotta hit two sides of every story. She died? Bro. No, she. No, nah, she. Nah, it must have yeah. not been that high of a bag. It was the second floor. 
Yeah, this nigga probably oh, threw her over the guard. I'm pretty sure he had his reasons. You gotta hit both sides yeah. of the story. I'm a, I'm a two story mm-hmm. person now. I don't hit one side of the story no more. I gotta hit I both sides know. now. Uh, Devin said that not Malk or me or so y'all only yeah, y'all yeah, only cool with one side of the story. Nah, bro. I gotta hit both I sides. I mean, Jim now. Brown a big nigga. You tell me he it. threw a bitch off a balcony. I'm gonna believe it. I mean, she didn't yeah. die. That's crazy. I mean, any like he just that's throwing bitches off balconies. That might have been a guardrail. They could have been on the ground <laughs> yeah. level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't know what that bitch could have said. Body. She probably were like, "That's why OJ Simpson gonna break your record." He probably just. <laughs> you never know, bro. It's two sides of every story, bro. Right, you know what? I didn't throw her over the balcony. Like, look at that, me. He did. We just gonna shut up. What? What? What, <laughs> what would you want to do? With I, wish, I wish I would just went on to the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyreek Evans, man. I mean, Tyreek Hill. Not Tyree Gavin. Damn, bro. What you got going oh, on? You gave me CT, man. Yeah, that yeah. Yeah, that All right, man. Shit. So I feel bad. I was joking, man. Because I didn't think it was this severe. So when I seen bro got arrested, I was like, I was joking around. I put the little, you know, the Drake meme when K- K- uh, KD got injured and the Warriors wrapped this game. Yeah. And the nigga Drake was like fake hurt, uh, sad about it. He was like, Man, he put oh, yeah. over there. I put that over the Tyree Hill, like damn, because I knew he probably wasn't gonna play in the Jazz game. But I, I was wish hoping I, he wasn't. I wish I didn't make that joke because I ain't think the shit was this severe, bro. That nigga yeah. went through some shit. That nigga, yeah, that was some bullshit, bro. Yeah. I mean, and he's right by the stadium. He's going to work. I ain't seen him. But right you, up, yeah. again, you down that way. So, like, you seen, like, how busy that, like, it be yeah, busy like that. I used to go yeah. to school over there. That's like Miami Gardens and shit. Yeah. Bro, that, yeah, that bitch in the hood. Yeah, it's like right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. by Carroll City and everything. Like, that shit, like, right next to uh, Trick Daddy Restaurant. Yeah, I like, went, Trick Daddy yeah. Restaurant, like, right across the street from that bitch. Yeah, my school that bit, like, went right to that. That bitch right in the hood. My middle school was, like, right around the corner But, like, that, it's always fucking busy, bro. Like, you don't even, you don't have enough time to really be getting it, bro. Like, to really be speeding like and then, but, I'm trying to figure out what kind of car he was in McLaren yeah, yeah. He I'm like he could have been going that fast so if, if you look his cones fast, huh? yeah he couldn't have been going that fast yeah cause his cones right there look like he was just pulling they it said, where the players they go they said like they were trying to control it and he like sped past it but that's another thing. I was like, why the fuck don't the Dolphins players got like another the yeah. Jag- the Jaguar players don't gotta go down the main they go exactly. down the side well that's cause of I don't know. They still got to kind of work on the infrastructure of that shit. Cause it's all wild. It's it like, this shit literally in the middle of a neighborhood, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it just dropped. It just dropped smack down. On the other side, it's fucking shit. house. It's the whole neighborhood. I was like, why y'all ain't build something? Like the players shouldn't be in the same traffic as your as also the fucking true. fans. Yeah. That's ridiculous. But they, yeah, that doesn't oh, make any sense. This because Khalil's Campbell pulled up too, and I'm like, he pulled this, up to yeah. This he pulled up to help out. He got he got arrested. He got arrested. Yeah. 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 Listen, 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 get in your listen, car and leave. I'm giving you an order. Get in your car and leave. I'm giving you an order to get out of here. Hey, hey, come here, right? That boy pulled out the table. Oh, that's what he got. I told you, leave. Listen, I'm fucking late. I'm too late. Move the car, sir. Please, please move the car. The car has to hang out for a minute now. He's on the You imagine being a Dolphins fan driving by seeing that shit? No. Hey, what's the reference? That's the reference. That's the reference. Yeah, Curtis, because he was speeding too fast. Depending on the player, if it was like OG <laughs> Jaguars, like um, yeah, Mark you see Fred. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fred Taylor. If Fred Taylor, oh, oh, boy. Hey, like, nigga, yeah. arrest me, nigga. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> we fighting. Let him go. We fighting for yeah. me. Hey, let Freddie T go. I'm man. calling all y'all yeah. niggas like, hey, bro, they about to arrest Fred Taylor. <laughs> if you did that shit <laughs> and how close out he says to the stadium, bro, yeah, nigga, yeah. see Freddie T on oh, the ground. Oh, boy, like that. nigga, it's a wrap. Oh, oh it's, it's man, that's shit. I'll probably put my phone in the pulling up with a shotgun. Because them boys will not. And Bay Street ain't fucked. That nigga ain't making it to Bay Street, bro. If I see, if I and see, it's gonna be a nigga with a bag of dope for one of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As soon as they get up, hey, Jimmy Smith, you good? Yeah, go ahead, take this, man. Go ahead, take this. Hey, yeah. Jimmy, I told you to leave that dope alone. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that shit alone if it's Jimmy Smith. Like, you probably deserve that shit. <laughs> yeah. you can go I saw to you buying crack away into it, nigga. I know you buying crack that right. shells, nigga. I remember that shit. Hey, you, <laughs> might, you might deserve it. Right? Just sit in jail for a little bit. Whatever Jimmy did, Sober Jimmy did that shit. There's no denying that. Bro. Yeah, anybody um, else is like, yeah, bro. I'm not yeah, even a Jags true, fan, bro. and I pull up for Fred, bro. Hey, man. Hey. I'm sorry, it's Travis. Gator legend. Come e. on. ETN? Yeah. 
Hey, bro, if you get arrested, I'm letting you get arrested, bro. You fumble the fuck out of that ball. Oh, boy. <laughs> you get, hey, you get hey, arrested. Oh, my God. Hey. That, fumble hurt, <laughs> that fumble hurt, nigga. That fumble hurt. That shit had fumble hurt. It was some different pain, bro. I watched that shit. It was I said, what pain, the man. fuck? The game was about to be over, right? Nigga, there. that would have been the nail the in the right fucking there, car. Bro. That shit oh, is man, change, man, give me your right, Give me that right hand. I was nigga. like, damn, these niggas <laughs> just <is> containing. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold the cup. I'm a healthy oh, call. Oh, my God. <laughs> nigga gonna be calling us talking that about come on, let's arrest the ATM. That shit was pain, man. Just, <laughs> oh, dog. Bro, that, that shit that's had crazy, a nigga though, sick, man. bro. Bro, that shit hurt. Man, I was in here watching the game. I almost flipped the table over, bro. <laughs> I had literally just cut the game <laughs> on. Nigga was fully laid out on my stomach, feet in the L. You know what I'm saying? I say they whoop. They Why beating these boys. <laughs> nigga was too happy. Got to the end zone. Yeah, you missed, <laughs> you missed all the good shit. Cause once we once he did that fumble, it went to hell. Oh, man. nigga, yes. yeah. There was literally yes. no good plays. Yes, that. yes bro. I seen that. Nothing, bro. <laughs> Damn, you missed the BTJ catch. That was like one of the best catches in the whole the week, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think when, I did miss bro, that man gonna win rookie of the week for that shit, bro. bro he shit it all. That boy, bro, he, went. Had, he had Jalen and hell, he had Jalen. I seen Hale. the highlight of it, but yeah, I missed that shit. Yeah, Total. That boy, yeah, yeah, that nigga I think was crazy it, I think it was one throw and that man had Jalen by like three strides. <laughs> yeah, shit, Jalen was getting that. Yeah, Jalen had just overthrown him by like a fingertip, bro. But that nigga had Jalen in hell for man, real. Man, uh, Trevor got to get that shit in order, man. Trev, no, Trev had it, bro. For I don't that think first it, was, it wasn't Trev. Trev, the, the stats versus. Watching the game, yeah, bro, yeah, it's yeah. two different things. Hold on, bro. hold Trev on, hold on, bro. Playing, I think bro. Trev did good. That's after the ETN uh, fumble. Yeah, shit, he just said no. Fuck it, bro. I think I, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. He I missed. think second half. No, bro, you did you watch the game, bro? He said he, he turned it on. No, at the, the Kurt. He threw that bit to Kurt three times, and he dropped all three. I saw of them that. Nah, I will give you that. I will give you that. <laughs> Gloves now, on and all. They ain't bro. been doing a good job of helping Trevor in any regard, nigga, from the line to the fucking receivers. But I'm that gonna say four, this. that fourth and one play was terrible. No, nah, that was yeah. Bro, that's for, that's that for, shit made me want to pay somebody. Goddamn, Press Taylor, bro. I know that was yeah, Press. Yeah, Taylor. I know that was Press. Wait, 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 wait. So you a Jags fan this year? Just to clear hey, it up, shut the fuck up. He's a Jags fan this year, guys. He's not a Titans fan this year. He's a Jags fan. He's a Titans fan when they're doing good. But he's a Jags fan for the majority, right? Like he's he's caping for these niggas. Okay, I have to make sure. Just make sure. Just make sure where we stand. That's all. But this Tyree Hill shit, man. I'm just playing this one video. This shit was crazy. Bro, jumped on the nigga back, bro. Yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, like it was actually chilling to this. Bro, I just had surgery on my knee. I just had surgery on my yeah, knee, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had surgery on my knee, bro. I just had surgery in your ears when we go there with the Chanel, bro. bro. Already yeah, bro, handcuffed tripping, at that. Nah, I definitely would have sued. Oh, he said he, he supposed to be suing him. Yeah, yeah, I'm Miami. Apparently, <laughs> the, apparently, the dude that jumped on his back got fired. For he's on administrative leave. Good. Good. Nah, he yeah. need to get fired. Yeah. 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 On some real shit, I'd be like, yeah, nah, put a couple of my niggas in uh in, in blue. Nigga, they have my they have my face on they on they police crest, bro. Well, I own that bitch. Let's be honest, man. Let's let's just cut this shit, man. <laughs> we done been to Miami plenty of times. Them Cubans down in Miami think they're white. Yeah, they oh, 100%. Yeah. Super you passionate, heard, You heard all them cops had. Every act, one of them. Accents. I heard all Every one of them. Yeah. Those Cuban cops. Yep. Yeah. And they, man, they be, they, they, rank, they racist. They might yeah. be one of the most racist people in the state. 100%. 100%. And, they, and he would have fucked up their parlays, bro. And the crazy <laughs> thing is, <laughs> this nigga out of yeah. here. The crazy thing is, they always move into black communities. Yeah, it be people like that yeah. that move into black communities and then they hate, like, they, 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 they man. Oh, they pulled that, the Cuban dude up. They mm. pulled up his Facebook. He's not even from Miami, from, from New York. Oh, that's worse. And that's that's happening. That's in, that be happening in Orlando. Them Puerto Ricans be moving mm -hmm. from New York down mm -hmm. to Orlando, 100%. and they yep. be becoming cops, yep. and they be racist as fuck too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's where that Florida <laughs> man shit come from, bro. It's not the people that's from Florida, right? One hundred percent from the outsiders. Yeah, there's yeah. yeah. all these people that move to this place. Always, yeah, bro. That shit racist. As soon as I seen that, as soon as I seen that shit, I was like, that was the damn Cuban cops again. Yeah, man. crazy man. But yeah, hopefully Tyree straight. Yeah. How do you just? You know who that is. They even said it in the video. Like, that's Tyreek Hill. They said it. If you listen to the first video, like, that's, they really ran like, that's Tyreek Hill. Then stop. They did not. Bro, if anything, you should have been putting them lights on, saying, bro, let's get you in the stadium, bro. Like, 
just slow it down. Hey, let's yeah, get yeah, you, you can't speed bro. like I know, that. I know he was like, we're out this time, but you know, yeah. next time you come yeah, through, come be on, mine. Bro, you know. yeah. He literally he's said, bro, just give me my ticket. I'm going to go. He's willing to take tickets. like, bro, just give me my ticket. I have to go. I'm already late. The way that nigga was like, I don't know, what was he on a bike or something? Nigga was like, fucking with a bike and then randomly just ran and jump on that nigga back. Yeah, you know, yeah. They, they, they was all on motorcycles. Yeah. They were doing like the little track. It was like the first, the first group that pulled up. They, you know, told him to roll his window down and, and you know, Tyreek handling the shit and everything. And it was chill yeah. <clears throat> compared yeah, to just, when yeah, other brothers yeah, came. Just one, one, up, one, one dude school. just had to turn the shit up. He just had to. You know, I don't ever I get. Was, I don't bro. ever get that shit, man. Like. It always be like one dude. It like it be straight, and it be like one dude coming like fuck the whole situation up, and they just be letting it, them do whatever you want to do. Yeah, he yeah. backed the fuck like, off when he pulled him out the car. They was like, I'm like, like y'all just scared of this nigga. It was the situation cool. This nigga just come up, turn it up. Y'all just let him do whatever the fuck he want to do. You know how it go when you work with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that one yeah. turn up nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, be yeah. like, man, hey, just let that nigga. Don't even bother that nigga because it's gonna give you a headache. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then them niggas so fucked up and corrupt, like. It's fucked up to me that we can allow, we know that the police got a culture of sticking up for each other, even if they in dead ass wrong situations, yep. yeah. you know yep. what I'm saying? Yeah. And we just abide by that shit. Just like that shit from Tales from the Hood, that yeah. story with the crooked cop. <laughs> the crooked yeah, cop, yeah. they, they, they <laughs> drove that nigga with crack and shit, came back as a fucking zombie. Yeah. With powers or something? I do no. remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had powers. I don't, <laughs> I don't even understand what the fuck was going on. The only power he had was like he made the needles fly. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah. so this nigga telekinesis. Is he always see a zombie? He got mm-hmm. telekinesis now? Like, what the fuck is that going shit was on? That was funny. Man? That nigga would walk in the next scene. He was just on top of the car, pull that nigga head off. Yeah, I'm like, what all is right. this? <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> but Tales of the, the Hill was crazy. It was very confusing. That shit was all over. So the place. confusing. Yeah, man. All right, man. Let's do real niggas of the week. They need their ass beats and get the hell up out of here, man. Mine, of course. Rest in peace, James Earl Jones, man. I know they're slandering you, OG man, but you lived a great life. Ninety three years old. Is it the older big? Is it the older black women or the younger black women slandering him, or the women that just found oh, out about the black interview? Hey, man, you got it's I, like three I, different I, categories. I ain't say about black yeah. women. I just said I just said people. I man. thought you said black yeah. women earlier. I ain't, no, I ain't say that. Go back and check. You definitely said black women. I, ain't say black women. I heard. That's what I heard. I think he said that he was saying <laughs> some negative things. I said some black people were saying some negative things. Hey man, y'all read between the lines. Hey, people were saying some stuff. I kind of agree with him, but still, Damn. let's wait a little. Let's wait till he buried at least. Damn. Damn. I don't That's know. True. I got to do my research. Bro, with Mufasa. Hey, Mufasa. Yeah, uh, he was. The, the prequel <laughs> might 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 be telling us oh, Mufasa yeah. was a fucked up nigga. Yeah, he might be. Bro. Damn, was he in the movie? Is he in that movie? I don't know if he's doing the voice of adult Mufasa or not. I, I, think not. I haven't looked at the casting. Oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, I would imagine that he in, would in, do in, 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 yeah, in the live yeah, action when it's coming action. up. I know he did a live. Not, I know he did a live. He did the live action, action yeah, but yeah. this one being a younger movie, so I don't think he playing. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Then. All right, I got this one jit man. He got a he got his first job at McDonald's. I think it's my last one. Turn up. All right, so we have my baby opening up his first check. He says it's gonna be two hundred dollars. Two hundred something. Two hundred and something. <laughs> So here we go. This nigga probably got about a band. What we looking at here? I'm trying to be careful with it. No, it was about 200 or something. <laughs> I'm say you were to work. No, I was wrong about that. Oh. They gave me another one now, so now I got three of these. Mm-hmm. Man, God damn, let So you weren't allowed to wear the t-shirt? No, I wasn't allowed to do that. Oh. Let me see what this is. That's two hundred and eighty three dollars. <laughs> That's a lot in the high school. Shit. After tax, oh, yeah. what's that? That is after tax. <laughs> you think you know about after tax? Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's hard. hard. Yeah. All right, man. Let's that's take hard. to the bank then. Right, that nigga. Well, your average hey. kid working that bit, yeah. not hey, know man, that that nigga. Oh, that nigga. Hey, man, salute to that nigga. Two hundred eighty-three dollars in high school. That, that nigga said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep working." Right. Yeah, yeah. That's real. yeah I think I'm when I when I'm working at Zaxby, bro, Zaxby Chick Fil A, my checks around about. 300 and something like yeah that's the Jordan and some yeah for right. high school yeah, for high school yeah. money nigga yeah. that's yeah. that's basically a band for high school money mm-hmm. good for the weed bro yeah 
Yeah, that's all mine. That's all y'all. Whoever want to go next. I got Master P as my real nigga, man. Um, just respecting the OG, I do think that it's dope that he became ambassador of entertainment for the Super Bowl um, down in New Orleans. I say that mainly because for a nigga that was actually one of the worst rappers in, in history. Whoa. What a, what whoa. Do? What do you mean one of the worst? Like, Are you fucking nigga? serious? Man, let, let, let him get his shit on. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. I fuck with Master these Pensacola niggas talking, I bro. fuck with Master V. Man, let him get his shit on. Y'all niggas ain't never listened to a Master V album. Huh? What are you saying <laughs> to us right now? <laughs> Lyrically, that nigga was rapping some, some, some He's shit. He's just opinion based. That I'm nigga definitely shit. said it himself. Like, bro, hey. well, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. This opinion based. That's all it is. This opinion based. I'm not even going to get mad at him. I ain't saying he the worst rapper. I'm just saying. You did say that, though. I'm just saying, man, he wasn't one of the best rappers, and the nigga had probably one of the greatest success stories in hip hop. I give you that. From the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So, so just, you, just you built this nigga out just to tear him down. Which one? Y'all trying to figure out what, hey, what, what I'm which way you going with this? The nigga mm. is a <laughs> mogul in every regard from business pioneering, you know what I mean? To he was a mogul culture. even when he was dropping that quote unquote ass bars. I mean, he definitely I feel like had Silk the Shocker was worse. I mean, nigga oh, dropping ass Silk bars. Shocker. Silk the Shocker should not even be mentioned. Silk the Shocker was terrible. He just dropped the song not too long ago, actually. For and he's not really? stuttering. I swear to God. You listen to it? That I couldn't take no chances, bro. That nigga was like a sexy <laughs> drill beat. Oh, my God. I couldn't take no chances, bro. I ain't, I ain't listening to no Silk the Shocker in 24. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I ain't yeah. listening to Silk the Shocker in 98. Yeah, I was yeah. Not, I was not, I never saw the I low thought, I thought, I thought, I thought Silk the Shocker was hard. I ain't going to hold y'all back in the day. Uh, but then I, I clearly wasn't listening to the nigga He rap. definitely had a persona. You had a good persona. Yeah, he had an amazing His lyrics persona. didn't match that. Not at all. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. He seemed, he seemed like he was cool. I like I like. Yeah, He's I like think you. I, I think back then he was probably one of the coolest niggas in hip hop. Nigga had uh, movies out and shit. I ain't gonna uh, say all that. Hot boy, to go back Man, and watch. Them movies was fire. Nigga. Hey, go back and watch Hot Boy. <laughs> it's terrible, but yeah. that, 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 back then, <laughs> back then, back then that was crazy. See, nigga, nigga, it was boy, better than baller blocking to me. It, hot oh, boy, hot boy was better way than baller blocking. Better than baller blocking. Yeah. Way better. You be doing I like, ball, I like ball of boxing. Shut from your a, ass up. From a, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, like, trans, like a movie <laughs> aspect? Nah. nah ball of boxing was just time. way funnier to me. It wasn't supposed to be a comedy, though. I can't yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Funny. That's the thing. <laughs> and it was that nigga. That part was like, it was like unintentionally funny. It's where that nigga, AJ Johnson. Yeah. Johnson, that nigga was like, are you a hot boy? Well, lay on this hot car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga like, such, 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 such a damn self. Such a yeah, yeah. damn self. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's body. Oh, oh that, that part, that part, when they were, I think he was arresting, um, I'm about to say BG wasn't even in the movie. BG was in the movie. Yeah, BG was in there. I think Turk wasn't in the movie. Turk he not said, in the movie. He said he was no. going to off dope the whole time. So <laughs> that doesn't make any movie. sense, but okay. It was the part when they was arresting BG. <laughs> and you know they had the white cop, too. And the white cop was like, yeah, turn around, nigga. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That nigga BG looked at him and was like, he looked at, uh, who, was, who was the black cop, bro? Uh, uh, T.K. Kirkland. T.K. Kirkland. He looked at it and T.K. Kirkland, he looked at him like, you a little call me, nigga? Yeah, 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 nigga. Yeah. 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 I think that shit was improvised. I don't think it was in the script at all. Like, it was a legit he reaction from BG. Moment. He was like, yeah, you call me. He's like, yeah, nigga. You saying that in the script, man. Yeah. right? Right? Yeah, that, you, you added that. That part where that nigga Wayne was hiding in the ice cream. Yeah, that didn't make no sense. Oh, that didn't make no sense. Or that part where they killed the mailman. Now deliver them checks on time, Playboy. Bro, I think we started a whole like a whole movie with that because a lot of niggas didn't know about that scene <laughs> to you. Started talking about that shit. <laughs> that shit crazy. Cause it was a- delivering them checks on time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they killed that man. Like, it wasn't his fault. It was the government fault. Right, right, that right. made no sense. <laughs> That nigga gave that nigga a mail bag to a kid. He like, nah, the pad these fucking checks. Yeah, yeah like that yeah, kid would have to be nine. I'm pretty sure he didn't. What if he didn't even live out there? Like, he's just visiting his auntie or some shit. Damn, bro. I would have gave them bitches to my I told, my I told B dot that was gonna happen to him because he was cursing out Birdman. <laughs> and I said, all right, he's gonna do you like that other mailman. <laughs> uh, Birdman got a track record of killing mailman, so you better stop it. <laughs> oh my god. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Devin. Is on you. Box. Devin to go. Uh, I want to get mine to NIU for you. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's the mm. Northern Illinois, Illinois University, and they beat Institute. them. Hmm? 
Nigga Institute. Come on, bro. You anti-black today? Hey, didn't they get like 1.4 million for beating? Yeah, supposed to be, you know, they were supposed yeah. to lose though. They were supposed, they supposed to take that and get an ass whooping. Right. They wasn't they supposed was to give the ass whooping. Even if they lost. Yeah, nah, I don't, really. No, nah, yeah. ain't no way they was getting wow. it even if they lost. Nah, they paid them. The uh, uh, Notre Dame paid them. To, uh, but they still, even if they yeah. lost, they still was gonna get one point four million. Ain't that how? Ain't that how it work? No, nigga. I, I ain't, ain't never, never heard of being that high. Like I don't heard five hundred thousand. Yeah, NIU got paid one point four million to beat Notre Dame. Oh, okay, and they did. They probably paid them like six hundred, and then they said, "You know what? I let's just say one point four million. Throw a little bro. extra on that. Yeah, and they beat them by two damn points, bro. Yeah. Number five ranked. Notre Dame. Yeah. They beat them by yeah. two points right. on them them So shout out to NIU. <laughs> Fuck Shit, Notre Dame, you got a bro. meal on the line, nigga? What? Yeah, them niggas played like it. I hope the players <laughs> got a piece of that, for real. I, want I know, hope man. so, too. Bro. I want I somebody to tell the coach that before the game. Players, like, hey, man, there's no, we got 1.4 million. Like, this ain't even million. a ride right on the line, my boy. Get them boys 100,000 to split or something. You know what I'm saying? He said that shit every day in practice. 1.4 million, y'all. Put it on the board. I'd be like. That's what's at risk right now. As a player, I'd be like 400,000, Better be divvied up, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Put that meal yeah. to the school. You and know them, them boys were hype too. Right? right. Put that bit of envelopes and cash, too, bro. Man, I if, if I beat, if I beat a ranked team, uh-huh. my school just won one point four. I know I'm finna fuck tonight. You know what I'm oh, saying? Fucking every bitch. Like that's nigga, five you talking radius, about hype? Man. I'm giving my pads away. <laughs> All right, <laughs> nigga, it's like, I ain't playing football no more. It's only like game number two <laughs> like, of the season, but I feel that I'm gonna be like, nigga, he's, hey, it. let me sign these for you, nigga. He's up from here. Mm-hmm. You know Especially what I mean? if you a nigga that don't play, and yeah. you got some of the money. Yeah, definitely. As a matter of fact, actually, if you a nigga that don't play, I'm taking your money. Uh, uh, he's gonna, gonna take it out. Of like, it. give me my money. Bring back Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, go, if you go back and watch the game, it actually was a pretty good game. Them boys definitely played like it was one point four million on the line, bro. <laughs> bro, do y'all remember Channel One? Yeah. Yeah. What happened to that? I, that's how I actually remember hazing being stopped, like. Worldwide, <laughs> oh, because of that fam, you shit, yes, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that right. shit was insane. Well, I think, I think, niggas out of school, wasn't that by the time the fam, you yeah, we was out of no, school, no, no, no. probably another school. No, 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 no. we no. was in school, no. Shit, no. yes, nigga. oh, this is before we this, was in school before it got this was in middle that. school, like yeah. I, I know I was in the seventh grade, y'all yeah. might have been in ninth grade by that time. Um, yeah, y'all was in ninth grade, um. They beat they 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 killed somebody at at Pam hazing that I nigga there. That. That's what started that movie, that weird ass oh, movie. Man, I don't want to be a well actually ass <laughs> nigga, bro. But that shit, I know some people that knew that nigga. Bro, the nigga I know that some, died. I know I that beat the nigga that died. I don't think it was a hazing in, like I, I ain't gonna like say, it was I ain't gonna say somebody that we know his name started with an E. Okay. Mm. E, you know what I'm talking about. He, I think, I'm pretty sure he was there, cause he said, cause I remember me telling the story about it. Niggas was out of school when that happened. Now, no, probably, I think it, it probably, was two it encounters. Probably, it had to be another one. I think man. it was two encounters. Yeah, cause I remember this one in 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 school. It got banned. I remember when we were out of school is when hazing should not have happened at all, and that's the fam you incident y'all are talking about. Did, uh, Edward Waters didn't have something going on. Yeah, Ed Waters had some shit going Bro. on too. I remember they was. Um, <laughs> hey, I remember this. My one, cousin was going at I remember the time. one. This one nigga dog. He was like from I don't know, bro. This nigga was like from Sugarfoot, Alabama, or some shit like that. He was from somewhere crazy, and he was he was working at Radio Shack with me. His name was Shiloh. Sounds so like he, a nigga from Alabama. Moved, so he moved. He was working at. He was at the Radio Shack out in Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> I didn't know they had Radio Shacks in Alabama. So this nigga, he transferred to the Radio Shack in Jacksonville because he was going to EWC. I think it was, yeah, e- e- EWC at the time. So he's like, man, I ain't even. What is it now? E- yeah, w- it's, a, it's a university, e- now. It's a university now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> so they added that, two more people. So for whatever reason, a nigga ain't go. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny as fuck. <laughs> for, for whatever reason, a nigga didn't go to the campus and he came all the way from Alabama. To go to that university. So he started working at the Radio Shack the same time I transferred. So he's like, yeah, man, uh, I can't wait to go to school, man. Is that a nigga that you talking about that, that got the, like, the fake brochure of what EWC yeah, yeah, looked? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 
So bro was like, I can't wait to go. I was like, you went up to the campus yet? And he was like, he was like, nah, I didn't go up to the campus yet. I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. He was like, man, I got the. Bro-. He started looking at the brochure. I start. I was like, let me see that shit. I swear to God, bro, this happened. <laughs> I grabbed, I grabbed the brochure. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the brochure. I'm like, nigga, where did you get this brochure from? Yeah. He was like, they mailed it to me when they sent my st- information in. I was like, bro, you, I like, bro, where you got this brochure from? I'm like, cut the shit, bro. Where you got this brochure from? He was like, man, I swear they sent it to me. I looked at this shit, bro. That bit had you went. That bit had you and F on the on the brochure. Oh my god! I'm looking at this. I'm like, nigga, it's U N F. Yeah. He was like, what's U N F? I'm like, bro, that's <laughs> not university. E-W-C. I'm like, it's not E W C, nigga. I'm like, bro, where you got? I'm, I'm confused. I'm, the con- I'm confused, dog. That nigga dyslexic as your last book. <laughs> It wouldn't have been so bad if it would have been like, well, this shit wouldn't happen to a nigga from Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah, no, we, knew our we know right, better. Yeah. I done been to that Popeyes in front of yeah, EWC. Right, right, right. I done, I done <laughs> been to that yeah. Shepherds in front of EWC. Bro. I know how EWC look, nigga. Well, I done was it. I done fucked on campus. It, it's mm-hmm. funny you say that. Um, they did get in. Tra- this was on the news about them throwing out like fake brochures. This is like not too long before they became a university. That shit was on the news oh, yeah, about them putting out that fake they brochures. Lost their bro. Yeah. I think they ain't lose. I think they had. Ju- I think they lose it like a little bit after that. Yeah, because because bro got killed on campus. Uh, that's yeah, he got killed for a T major. Yeah. yeah, he got killed for a T major. Yeah, that's crazy. Bro. That that's was the insane. one. And that was the. You seen what jersey it was? It was the one with the the magic with the stars on it. The blue well, shit. I don't think it mattered, bro. He got killed yeah, by T major. Nah, I don't nah, think you got. I don't jersey. think the color. <laughs> nigga said it. Nah, that was a hard it was, was kind of worth it. it. You ain't see them jerseys, bro. Nigga said you ain't see them jerseys. That's the hey, that's one of the would kill a nigga by itself. Hey, that was the ones with the blue and they had the stars oh, on the them. Star yeah, 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 they yeah. don't even make them shits no more. I don't care, nigga. Oh, oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah. What what was oh, oh, I'll kill a nigga for that. Never mind. I, I mean, thought it with the I thought it with the black one. I'm gonna shoot you through the jersey <laughs> so I can wear your wear I mean, your blood. It's possible, bro. I mean, it's just, just you sad. you may be on to something because hey, man, if it was like somebody asked me like. Oh, what? Uh, we were just talking about Freddie T. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, he killed the nigga for the new one with the Freddie T on it? Bro. Nah, that ain't worth it. The old school yeah. green one? Yeah, 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 yeah. With Freddie T on it? I'm out of the body a nigga, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, that nigga, I was like, bro, you just moved from Alabama to Jacksonville to go to EWC. And that's yeah, not the school on the campus. Pamp- I was that just, nigga not still there, bro. I was confused why that nigga just never went up to the campus. I'm like, how do you never just go to the campus? I think he was scared. Uh, <laughs> he probably had plenty of time, bro. Give me my phone behind you. Uh, oh, Matt, you got a real nigga though? Going off too. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did have James Earl Jones, but the other one I'm gonna give. I don't think I had gave it through Twitter. Is uh, Teddy Bridgewater? Oh, um, oh yeah, salute. He could, bro, that nigga Teddy Bridgewater funny as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is I mean, my coach, bro. I seen that nigga recreate the uh, the, what you would call it, the boys in the hood shit. For yeah, real? that was crazy. Yeah. Like, you smell a dead body for some shit. I don't know what it like West Fest. I don't know what it is in Miami. I'm just doing, I had doing skits. I just know there was like the beat between them and um and uh, Booker T. Yeah. So they had like somebody from Booker T laid out dead on the church. <laughs> 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 but it's funny because like this nigga a high school coach, bro, they just cussing all hey, the video and shit. No, he like, <laughs> edit, edit it all. He like this nigga smell like shit. Oh my god! I'm like, bro, Tom, I don't yeah. think you can play that. Tom, with Tom, your they, they, they fuck this nigga up. I'm like, bro, oh, Teddy, <laughs> calm bro, down, kind of, bro. What is West Fest? Teddy, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. but, but <laughs> nah, that nigga <laughs> Teddy, <laughs> ignorant, bro, he done grew his wits up. Mm. That nigga, yeah, that nigga, now he be on the sideline with gold on. Yeah, nigga, be having those magic wigs. Ever seen him? Dicky suit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nigga wearing baggy pants, baggy coach pants. The, 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 old school, the, the, the old school. Old school. He got, the, he got the, old, the old wind joints. Yeah, yeah bro. Bitches. Literally, the wind was blowing. And yeah, you don't make sweatpants like that no more. Like you need to hit them, bitch. That's what he said. 
Yeah, I'm gonna know when I'm out. I like, I like, I, I thought I was older than Teddy Bridgewater. Oh, this nigga look older than me right now. That nigga we the same age, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, yeah, okay. me and Teddy is. Yeah, that nigga was on the sideline. That nigga had on some gangster rees. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Like, like, what the fuck he be doing, man? Like, that nigga retired, retired, bro. Yeah, yeah. But, Comfortable uh, coaching. I, 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 I didn't right, know bro. Teddy was this eager, bro. But no, nah, I fuck with what he got going on down there, man, and looking out for the kids. Oh, yeah, and I think they're still undefeated, sure. too, I think. I ain't yeah, sure, but they was, they was like that beat they their ass, playing. putting belts on boys. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think he might legit put a belt to their ass if they lose. I can <laughs> see that. I can see that. That's stand in line. Hey, is. man, Year of the Bull documentary is still the greatest sports documentary. If you ever never seen it, you I, ever seen? I believe it. I, I watched it was the, uh, the 08 Miami Northwestern football documentary. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I, yeah. Oh boy, that's niggas was hated it by Reigns. <laughs> Reigns anything, hated it. <laughs> anything from Broward down was hated <laughs> by Reigns. Yeah. Like. All right, this one from Kane. This one say Auburn running back commit Alvin Henderson. This nigga putting up <coughs> crazy <coughs> numbers. I'm gonna say this: forty that's carries, four hundred thirty five yards, and ten touchdowns. Ten touchdowns is wild. I'm gonna say this, man. In one game, his team lost. By the way. <laughs> After doing all that, <laughs> put in that much work. <laughs> I ain't gonna shoot him, but that's crazy. I I they lost 80, 80 to 78 with 10 touchdowns. And a, this bro. a football game? Yeah. Oh all my right. God. You gotta shoot somebody. Who the fuck bro. did they play, bro? Who the fuck was on defense? Who that's the question. The they had some yeah, trash yeah, ass yeah, defense. Yeah, like, like, I, I, damn. That did happen to when Derrick Henry Derrick was playing. Derrick Henry would do that shit. was playing with doing that shit, and sometimes they would lose. Yeah, they was sometimes. They was, they was getting but, spanked sometimes. He still ended up with like six TDs. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm all that. Like, I don't know what y'all was. Hold on. Hold on. Here's my thing. This nigga had one of the most insane stat lines in history. Yeah. Yes. And there ain't no video footage. In 2024, yeah, it's a link down there. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you probably YouTube that. Nigga, that, that no bullshit. Sure. That's a link to a website that got that same picture on it. No, <laughs> no, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So it you say you no, said this shit might have happened? I don't know, man. I think somebody fudging them. Yeah, I gotta see the numbers, bro. I, I, I gotta see the I, fucking I, I game. I want to see the fuck rest that. of the stat oh, yeah, line. Sure. Like yeah, I want to see, see the, the game. Re- I want to see the numbers he been doing last year. You know what I'm saying? All of that shit. Because I mean, uh-huh, right now, funny. now I want to see. I, I want to see the nigga who gave his other who put who put up 78 points on the other team. Nigga, like, what the fuck was that nigga? Well, they probably did it like, yeah. probably like collectively. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I want to see the quarterback, nigga. For real. I just happened to go on YouTube and that's the first thing they said was Alvin Henderson ten touchdowns. There's no proof yet. Oh no proof yet, bro. Chamberlain. Yeah. Will Shut up. I posted Wayne. that shit in the Discord. A picture of that nigga. No, bro, I, I just posted that. the 100. <laughs> yeah, I, guess. I mean, here's my thing, dog. That's DuckTales, dog. You watch it. You watching a game that mm. hypothetically probably went to three <laughs> overtimes, let's just say. Okay. 80 points, nigga. That's a little. 80 insane. points. Nobody recorded nothing? And, yeah, and nobody recorded a damn bro. thing. <laughs> in the 70s, they was recording high school games. Bro, in the true. sticks at true. that, bro. The bro I know they got cell service. They made everybody zip their phone up like they was in a fucking Kevin Hart <laughs> <thing. laughs> <laughs> thing. Like, put your phone nah, in the nah, bag. Nah, it, it was raining we'll in the game. you if you watch this nigga score. It was raining. They couldn't have their phones. Bro, that shit was that, that shit was space shit. Well, that shit ain't had no space. Okay, them they niggas went down the roof. Yeah, them niggas, it was raining. Hey, no them niggas went inside and played Madden. <laughs> yeah, played yeah. Madden. that nigga put yep. ten That's touchdowns up with his name on the jersey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, that yeah. shit, that That's shit, shit if, if this did happen. That nigga, whoever that nigga quarterback is and wide receiver is, them niggas is not going to college. No, nah, bro. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, bro, them niggas ain't doing nothing. Never. Dog, the you score the- every touchdown. I'm assuming the nigga had every uh, two point conversion, too. Only pre- they they did, probably oh, sat yeah. that nigga up for the by two that, point conversion. By probably. that score, the defense not going to college. Only person going to college is that nigga in the O line. Yeah, that's the only. Oh, that, that, lie, nigga, that, nigga, that nigga was seven fold. The team that won that whole four. team going to college, bro. Yeah. All right, so hold on. Let's just do some math real quick. <laughs> on this shit. I'm trying to understand this. Foxy Brown math. Eighty to seventy-eight, ten touchdowns. So I'm assuming <coughs> that ten touchdowns is at least sixty-six points, right? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. So five of them, you guarantee. Field goals, yeah, and then there's yeah. a possibility of two, two, two field goals during drives and shit, right? All right to, so to add the right, well, so shit, ten six touchdowns, field goals. Ten and times then seven is seventy. 70. Right, right. So you got eight more points. You got two field goals and six. Oh, points. you go for two. Then you got okay. 
You got to go for two again. The, from the sound of it, it sounded the, like they was finna try to go for the win. I yeah. need to see the it's stat not, line, dog. I need to see it's complete like the, stat line. Like you won't. It's it ain't like the real. Kicker not going to college, also. Yeah. Could a kicker had to miss some field? He though. probably yeah. missed. He missed. Like, it sounded like they were going points? for the win. Bro. Eighty points. I think he missed a lot of field. Seventy-eight. Oh, seventy-eight points. 78, he missed yeah. a lot. Of Ten yeah. touchdowns. If you if you scoring. <laughs> A uh, uh, um, uh, uh, extra point on every yeah. one. That's seventy seven right there. So seventy eight somewhere he done missed at least two, at he least three, at least two. And they put the ball. No, they no, put no. It, Ten touchdown at seventy points. He for it to oh, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for it to get the seventy eight. What would had if the kicker did make everything? Yeah, they had to get two field goals and a safety and a safety and a safety. Yeah. And a safety. Yeah. That's the only way. But it's like. 80. I'm gonna need to see this game, bro. <laughs> Man, I just fucking fucked the see, game. I need to see that. If nothing else. Get, if nothing I don't else. Think it's get 80. Cause, bro, straight up. Like, you had bro, to go for a two point conversion every, every time. Every, yeah. every time, bro. Yeah, yeah. Plus, where's the school at? Where's he? Where's the school? Because I'm imagining at? waiting no defense play in 78. Al, Al Auburn running back commit. It was the game was in Alabama. Man. This is a high school in Alabama. <clears throat> Nobody has the name of this high school. That's crazy. So do this? Do this Let Alvin just... Anderson even exist? <laughs> that's the question. You is this nigga real? Did Alvin Anderson? Alvin Anderson. Did Alvin Anderson <laughs> Alvin, 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 <laughs> Alvin, 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 Alvin <laughs> create this this shit for himself? Hey, I think this king this king cousin yeah. king made this shit. Yeah. Up. Oh my bad. That's, that's my fault. I thought you found, oh, found a clip. Sure. I thought you found a clip of this crazy ass game. That's right. Oh, you still hitting up to that blue? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We oh, actually you found might. Footage. We actually might have footage. That's AI. Nigga, that's the moon. And right. it is raining. It, it is raining. It is raining. Right. <laughs> <It is raining. laughs> hold on. Damn, hold on. You found footage. That one. That nigga scored very quickly just then. Oh, no, it's raining and there's nobody there. Oh, that nigga All is right, trucking through some sense, motherfuckers. Man. Like, hey, I wish I could Bluetooth it to the speaker. I mean, to the TV. Hey, send, right send, that. send it. Um, text it. Send it to that's me. Crazy. So I put it on. The yeah, send it yeah, to yeah, me on my yeah, IG. Yeah, bro. I'm about to that's team. crazy. It, it is footage finally. <laughs> That's crazy, also, bro. This sounds like that's some. Remember that? Remember you seen that uh, BS High documentary? This sounds like some BS High shit. Oh my god! Oh, hey, bro, this nigga scoring with that. ease, bro. Okay, so he might have got them ten touchdowns. And still, now, I will say the rain might be playing an effect. But oh my god! Oh, yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah. this nigga's going crazy. So you found the game. <laughs> this nigga's going. What, what, what's bro, the name of the high text school? Me that shit, bro. What's the name of the high school? <laughs> yeah, what's the name of the high school? Uh, it's McKenzie and Elba. The fuck in the, the sticks. Place. In the sticks. That's one. That's one. IG. This shit in the back of. All right, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. They ain't got all the touchdowns in the, in this game just, here. That's enough proof, bro. I just want to know this shit exists. Yeah, yeah, I just know that it Yeah, this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, hey. I just need to know that that happened. I can that get nigga, credit for that. I'm gonna say this, man. That nigga look like, bruh. And it is number two. I'm gonna make sure one of y'all got a copy. Number two. His number. His number is number two. That's doing the scoring. Nah, I got a new phone. I I, I ain't oh, got no yeah, numbers in that yeah, Send me that, bro. Uh, I need. I got to see that. My yeah, I'm. A, I'm gonna just say this nigga might be a problem. All right, I'll take it. And he's we not, got proof. We got proof now. So I'm he's good, not Derrick Henry shots in no shape or form. Like he little. I ain't saying he little, but he he he's comparable to every nigga he's running through. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, oh, so he's okay, not big so enough. Like he's, he's just talented. So he's <laughs> probably like five ten. Five, I mean, yeah. well, five by five. Nine. He's going crazy. Hold on, this next he's one. Fast. This like. next one. Look how he shaked this. Oh no, nah, it ain't this one. It's about to come up. Look how he shaked the shit out this nigga, bro. Good lord. Uh, he got In the rain. <clears throat> this it. This it. This nigga finna shake this nigga so hard. Boom. Oh, bro, ankles gone. He got a couple linemen. Ooh, that's Ooh. stiff arm was nasty. Ankles don't exist. And, and, yeah. and it's that nigga can't true. fuck with him. And it's, it's actually Alvin Henderson. Yes, bro. Huh. Wow. It's crazy. And they ain't touching him. Damn. They ain't touching him. Yeah, so I yeah. I, I, I take back right. everything I, I take said, everything man. back I said, bro. I take everything back. Nah, nah, I just didn't respect. see them 10 hey, touchdowns. Man. Fuck Let me salute you, bro. I didn't see them 10 touchdowns. Fuck Heaven proof right there. That's all I need to see. <laughs> hey, bro. That told me a lot of things. That told me that is the same the same exact situation as Derrick Henry from I can tell by the offensive line. Bro. Uh, but it also explains that he the only person that's going to call it. Like he said. <laughs> Hey, real quick. I did just see uh, what's coming. I do just want to add to your point real quick. 
even on a smaller scale, this Boosie and Rallo shit is a part of what's killing hip hop. What's yeah, going on? What's going on? Boy, it's always gonna be pure ignorance. Well, Rallo just an ignorant nigga. He's calling like Boosie a rat, old rapper and shit like that. Oh, oh well, uh, that's because go. Boosie called him a rat while he was in jail. I mean, he did. And he rat. feel he didn't, and he feel Super like rat. that's an issue. Oh, he well, didn't rat. He got he ratted, bro. That's All a right, whole but paperwork, bro. bro. It ain't been. I'm sorry. Uh, that's kind of serious. I can't even joke about it, nigga. Yeah, say that nigga stitch it. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and, and all it. Rallo, all all Rallo's been asking for. Here's where here's what? where I feel like there's a gray line in that. Rallo just asking to have a conversation to prove himself that he ain't snitch. But well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Also, people keep asking well, Boosie. They be like, you keep calling niggas snitches and shit. They were like, why you didn't call it YSL Woody a snitch yet? And, well, he, and that nigga doing he, bang he buses and shit. He won't answer that question. <laughs> That's hmm. a great point. Yeah, clout. He won't say nothing he, he, about that nigga, that nigga on twenty versus ones, yeah, bang right. buses. That's a, like he's just they said that ball. nigga like feared in mechanic view and that nigga snitched. No, like, all right. Why I said mm-hmm. what? Uh, yeah, uh, why I said Woody. Uh-huh. That nigga was in front of the Mechanicville sign. That nigga pulled out a big ass stack of money and like three Rolex watches, and he just was like just chilling in front of the Mechanicville sign, counting all his money. That nigga look like a crash out. Like he like a D one crash out. Boy, well, he got yeah. bodies. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't understand legal system. He got immunity, don't he? Yeah, he got immunity. Like, how the fuck he get immunity? I was right. wondering that too. Like, he just in that just in the courtroom, just saying, "What the fuck?" Ever. They said, "Hey, you stop killing, bro. We'll That's let crazy. you." Yeah, like, how is. many bodies do you have? Like, do you have bo- do you have bodies for them too? That gotta be it. Cause we gotta have bodies for them too. Say, yeah, man. I shot a rich homie, Quan Daddy Barbershop. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no cap, nigga. I was I went there and I went to uh, Panera Bread. I thought I was done. Rest peace, rich homie, Quan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. We're literally talking about. <laughs> Hey, we got a real nigga of the week, bro. Let's do one real nigga of the week. I know Mount got to head out. We got to do they need that. So we just going to do this one and Mount going to head out. Is that Adrian Peterson? Oh, my God. That's crazy. Oh, my God, bro. That's not. Okay. That's not him. I don't know how this is a real nigga of the week, but I'm going to play it. Who is this from? They got a shit ton of Modelo. I was going to say. That like Modelo. Come on. That is Come on. One more time. And this one said Woody right there. Why would you? Nah, 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 nah. See, what do you got going on, man? It's all about. There's nothing I can do. That's crazy, but of course. Oh, is he doing the uh? He just uh, walking out. Safe spot once again. We can talk about one more time. <laughs> Look at the new guys. I seen a nigga in a. Uh, <laughs> I seen a nigga at a gas station, local drunk. Nigga said, uh, <laughs> local drunk is funny. <laughs> nigga was buying a six pack. Somebody said, damn, bro, you going fishing? All that beer you got. He said, nah, I'm going drinking. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that shit had me in tears. <laughs> that nigga had on one sock and a flip flop. He didn't give a damn about them chasing him. Oh, am yeah, I, nah. He knew they wasn't am chasing I tripping? him. Is this the, it's like the Walgreens across, uh, like in Gateway, ain't it? By the no. McDonald's? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. it's like across yeah. the street. Oh, the, it's on McDonald's the, uh, across the street? The women's yeah, across the street from that. Oh, from yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. It do kind of look like it. That's what I thought it was. I like the McDonald's. I was finna say that might have been the one that's on nah, A Street. A Street. Nah, street. Nah, yeah, them, but, them, um, goons, them goons at that, uh, that Margaret, you talking about, they'll chase you. I've seen them beating mm, the nigga ass in there. Yeah, oh, they waiting yeah. on a moment. You, bro, you talking yeah, that about one them, They hire some niggas and that shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck running out that bitch. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, that one. That wall. That wall green. <laughs> like, they they, they bro. just fucking that. The yeah. family dollar over by the shop. It's literally. I I I I swear Which this shit act like a crank crackhead. The family dollar on man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh that's legend. I don't go to that. Bruh, this bitch act like a <laughs> crackhead. They, they, they know when all When I tell you, she looked like she was tweaking. Nigga, it's the closest. Everybody dollar. go to family dollar. It's everybody. one of the closest. <laughs> Not that one. It's that one. one. Nah, it's the one. That one. That's your walking geez, distance bro. from the shop, bro. First yeah, going to go on that. will be the next bro. closest. The worst, and I know you ain't going to no fucking You know what? Nah, the, the worst bro. family dollar in Jacksonville is just one. I mean, not all. There's one right up here on McDuff. McDuff. Oh yeah, oh, I hate bro. that. Oh my god, bro, bro. I that's hate that. Worst, bro. That's the worst shit. They ain't ever. never got shit. I never even been I in the back of that shit. store before. I just be at the front. Oh, the bro. one that's um right across from like with that Dollar General shit. Yeah, oh, like oh, yeah, yeah. right there. By the that, that, yeah. That, that one on Main might be a close second, dog. But that you're right about the one. But yeah, on, now that you uh, mention it, yeah, I do remember yeah. seeing situations out there before. Oh, bro. They be tearing that bitch up, nigga. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't close. That, that was one of the ones on the list to close down. Like, I'm surprised they didn't close that one down when they closed down. Man, they should close a also, bunch of them. Also, they did. The Dollar yeah. General on Gun Avenue. Yeah, they open when they want to open. 
<laughs> nigga, I, sometimes I'll be like, damn, I forgot it's a dollar journal on Dunn Avenue. And then I go in there and I see why. <laughs> hey, they make you forget. <laughs> Like, shit, fuck, uh, the family dollar know. used to be open till 11. That bit closed at like 8. Now nah, they be hitting that bit every That's so every crazy. The week. family dollar was open till 11. That yes, bitch? nigga. I'm yeah, like, what the crazy. fuck is on Main? Main? On I'm Main like, Street is what crazy. What the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> like, but, they hey, must don't get around a lot. There, when a nigga needed something late, you know, that shit was That's convenient. Crazy. I didn't really <laughs> open up that late. Yeah, they they all, Walmart at that point. They weren't even supposed to be. They just had that bitch open. Nigga. That shit was Cause niggas was stocking inventory They just killed that bitch <laughs> Straight up <laughs> That nigga Amp asked me What time Subway closed Over on Main I say shit Them niggas close when they want what Yeah time they, they It used to be It used to. to be eight Now they <laughs> just Nigga, I think because they, of that gas station There used to be a shell That bitch used mm-hmm. to be Jumping so crazy They yep. just cut that bitch open Yep Yep <clears throat> Alright Now I don't want to kick you out, man, but you're a family man, so you can't be up in here all night with us. Who? who, who <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Um, yeah. Bro, no, I appreciate it. I'm glad to be back and pull up on y'all boys. Proud of y'all, man, for I, sure. Hey, matter of fact, you got some big things in the works, man. Go ahead yeah. and tell the people, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, got uh, Jack's Photo Fest coming up yeah, in, so in a couple go. of weeks on uh, the 21st. So, uh, trying to make some a little, a little new tradition for the city, you know what I'm saying? Put people on. Yes. And it's an uh, uh, outdoor photography exhibition. Um, and pretty much showing love to a lot of a lot of Jacksonville photographers and whatnot and, and try to get them in front of some faces and put people on, get them a chance. They may not have a chance to, to do their own show, you know, now when you have the resources, you can provide that opportunity and put people on. So 100%. What's up, so Saturday's going to be on? Uh, in La Villa on oh. uh, um, That's why you didn't Lift Every that. Voice and Scene Park. It's a brand new park. Oh, the new park. I ain't yeah, been there yet. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's fire. It's real fire. Yeah, they're doing Wind Down Festival next Yeah, that's right. They're going to they do it there, there too. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Wind Down Fest going to be there too. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, we first and then Wind Down Fest, I think, like the next week or something mm-hmm. right after that. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be tight. Um, I mean, we got uh, 93 Hibachi gonna be there. So if y'all, you know, in the city, oh, if y'all fuck with them, yeah, they pulling yeah. up with us. That's that's we got the, uh, yeah, we got the sangria truck. So you know, we you can drink. Sangria truck. I can come out it's and meet the man. Yeah, we got you all the trucks, saying? bro. You said the twenty first. Twenty first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got I'll come back to town, like man. over, I think over twenty five artists, like over a hundred pictures. Damn. Um, yeah, yeah, we're doing that shit up, man. And, and you know, I'm building some shit back as La Villa builds back yes, up. Yes, sir. You know, make sure this bitch standing in La Villa and, and, and look out for the people. So, yeah, yeah. This shit is show, man. That's right. what's up. Yeah, make yeah, sure y'all yeah. follow Mount, Mount Jax. Yeah, yeah, Jax.com. Y'all already know, man. Appreciate it. Tap in, buy you some photos, buy you some prints, all of that shit, man. And everything, man. Support these boys, too, man, for sure. Always. Never forget that. Right. Never forget that, man. That's yes, up. We're gonna have Mount back on. It ain't gonna be too far. We're gonna try and have Mount back on next month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're we'll gonna, yeah, we gonna get the schedule back on. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get the schedule back yeah. on. It probably had it probably had been right after when Kid to drop that album. So that's probably been about a year or two, yeah, two yeah. years, we, probably. Yeah, we're gonna make it feel like the old days. So Mount ain't gonna be like a year. He's gonna be yeah. back next month. Yeah, yeah we'll <laughs> we'll get we'll get that friend of the show shit back rolling. Yeah, we're gonna get the show. And we <laughs> next time we're not gonna record so late. We'll try to do seven. For so. sure. I might bring Mystery Man back on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right back, right back suit on them boys, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. We oh, did yeah. a segment, uh, what, yeah. two weeks ago? Yeah. yeah we got to bro, that shit. <laughs> that last segment was insane, nigga. I need to clip that. If y'all ain't great. tapped in, man, go back two episodes. Definitely watch that shit. We had a ball on that shit. Oh, we still got news. They need that. All right, Mount, man. All right, man. Appreciate, appreciate you. Yeah, boys, for sure. Man. Appreciate you, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love you. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep yeah, it. Yeah, we know. Let's know that gate closed. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. still still on um, the lock. I got the, got the code shit for it. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. We'll send you the code. Right. See, friend of the show get the code. Y'all niggas don't get the code. Right. All right, bro. Be easy. Fuck, niggas. It was one nigga. It was one nigga tried to get with clothes. He was like, hey, Ant, what's the code? I'm like, I'll be out there in a second. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll play that shit, man. We'll play that shit. He can't give you nothing, nigga. <laughs> nigga think he dropping in. <laughs> right. He said, what's the, How what's the code? Me? What's the code? I'll be out there, nigga. Right, nigga. I'll stop what I'm doing. All right. They need they ass beats. Oh, is that this what? Is dum, dum, dum. This is crazy. Oh, this It's is... going to get worse. All I, right. I know that woman. I know, that, I know her, too. All right, so bro did a hold on. Play she got game. some big dumb ass titties. Oh, you know you you, you, oh, you, you never you don't know who All that right. is. That's I crazy. Don't know who that is. Wow, it looked like her nipples retarded though. They 
All right, go ahead. What you All doing? right, so bro did a <laughs> speed porn test. What? No, no, we know what a porn people is. So. Oh, bad. Let's go. Speed think, porn test. What's that? You think you can? You think you know who that? It's me. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, 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 it's okay. Me. I got you. Let's go. It's me. All right, so I'm I a, don't know. The oh, first he's doing the guys that. too. Fuck. No, yeah, he's no, doing the guys. Good. All right, hold on. I'm gonna turn the sound down. And Devin, you do it without the sound on it. All right, bet. Uh, that's um Harley Dean. Harley Dean, yeah. Oh, Mariah Mills. We know that. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's go. <clears throat> One, two, three. Mariah Mills. Harley, Harley Dean. Dean. Oh, uh, Ash Cash. Tim the Trump. Cassidy Banks. Nick, oh, yeah. Q- uh, oh, Sarah, Sarah Banks. Sarah Banks yeah. Diamond Jackson. I don't know who that is. Uh, 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 Brittany, Brittany White. J- yeah, yeah, Brittany White. Oh, uh, Anna Fox. Fox. I follow her on Instagram. Damn, y'all Damn he went crazy. Y'all y'all do, did y'all know everybody? Or? Yeah, I, I, ain't know, I ain't know the one chick that... that Ash Cash? Uh, nah, I know Ash Cash. Okay. Boy, Ash Cash go crazy, but she like Twitter porn, ain't yeah, she? Yeah, and I'm like, but she don't yeah, even she, drop shit. Like, she ain't even got content. Like, yeah, yeah, she got like three videos. She's a porn star. Yeah, that's a... She still going? Nah, she just she just got a buzz recently because I've been seeing everybody <coughs> flooding the block with like, uh, her. Nah, she, she, she got something recently. She got a um, she got a man now. Yeah, she got a, uh, a man and like a kid. That's something. not recent. Oh, she that's got not, more than two. But videos? she wasn't a she wasn't a porn star. She yeah. just was a chick. Like her that sex tape got like D, she just got leaked. IG honey like, shit, yeah. and she mm-hmm. yeah. Cause, cause, like to be honest, bro, if you was the wife her up, it wouldn't be a bad look because her shit just got leaked. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like she was like on OnlyFans sucking dick. She yeah, if got, you, if you not, her shit just got leaked. It was kind of like on some revenge porn. If shit. you're not mature enough to realize that the chick you with probably don't suck some dick in her lifetime, yeah, that's on you. Yeah. Nah, but having a chick doing it on camera is crazy. <laughs> that is even wilder. That's a different standard. You got to be a different type of man. Yeah, I don't like Mariah Mills. I love Harley <laughs> Dean. She Harley just, Dean go crazy. I just saw her, her today. Titties, Oh, bro! I just saw her today uh, <laughs> of a video that she had like back in the day when they say that uh, it was an interview she was doing in the car, and the dude asked like some like why Rihanna don't like you, and he and she uh, she did not hold back to say the least. She what? said a lot of crazy oh, shit. Oh, she said um that was that wasn't her. I know you're talking about. That looked like her. That, her, that name, was her, name, her name was close. They, they said her name was Harley Dean, but the girl her name was Haley Dean. Oh, she hey, date, she date that one nigga. I forgot the name. But of her. she looked just like Harley Dean. Also, she did. She, she did. It God damn. Dude, really? So what happened? Dude, she was fucking one of Rihanna uh, niggas or something. No. So they were saying, <laughs> all right. So what happened was she was dating <clears throat> some dude. I guess it was some dude. He was like famous. He was he was like in the fashion industry, mm-hmm. and like they were saying she kind of looked like Rihanna. So they were saying she was fucking her boss, but really it was Rihanna fucking her boss. And like she got in trouble because they were spreading around that the, that this girl was fucking Rihanna, but really Rihanna was fucking the boss. And say it. Oh, allegedly, that's what she said. She said Rihanna gave she said Rihanna got chlamydia from Travis Scott and gave it to the boss. Damn, and that's how the whole herpes shit started with her and Chris Brown. Yeah, that's that whole fight. I always heard that's rumors what, of that. That's what the and chick, that was the chick said. I always heard I'm rumors. Saying, I don't even know how I heard rumors of that. I'm saying allegedly because that bitch gonna get sued. Yeah, how the fuck did we hear rumors about that shit Damn, before man. Twitter though? <laughs> Great. <laughs> nah, because that that whole uh, Riri getting ha- having herpes, and that's why her and Chris Brown fought thing. That was before Twitter. So I'm like, I'm wondering where the her- hell. I feel, I feel like that shit was in the police. Cause that's what Chris Brown said. He said yeah. he he. I don't think he said he got something from her. That's what the internet was saying. Yeah, the internet but, he, said that. but in the police report, Chris Brown said he seen her phone. She was in there cheating. He said, "Hey, why the fuck you cheating on me?" She started beating on him. Then he beat on her. Uh, and I not, seen the court documents, bro. And it, it oh, went. I ain't saying. I'm saying. Ooh. I ain't saying it's okay. That nigga. No, 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 no. I mean, like the stories, the stories, the stories that she told versus what he told in court is way crazy, bro. That. Have you ever actually sat out and read them court documents between them two? Them shits is crazy. No, like bro. I, I'm not a Chris Brown fan because of the shit. I'm but it's too, it's too. I'm not reading the shit because first of all, he went too far. Yeah. Second of all, she forgave him. So it's yeah. Like, all right. He went yeah. further than we thought. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah, and I yeah. never forget that yeah, nigga. He, Fuck. Yeah, he went insane. Fuck. All right. Let me play the cracker audio on it. All right. Mariah Mills, Harley Dean, uh, Ash Cash. Tiana Trump. What's Tiana? Uh, Cassidy Banks. Cassidy Banks. Uh, Kira Noir. 
I love you. We got Sarah Banks. I love Sarah. Uh, Diamond Gary Jackson. Lamar content uh, is terrible. Brittany White. This is and mediocre. Anna Fox. Yes, bro. Money. You know yes. She Let's got hit go, misses. man. Let's go. She was yeah, mostly, nah, smoking, too too mostly smashing. And uh, doing dudes is fucking. Yeah, it, that's it, crazy. It, he didn't just do dudes. It, it gets worse. Uh, no, 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 no. OG Mudbone, 14 inches. Whoa, Mandingo, 10 inches. Whoa, hold up. Uh, Julio Gomez, 14 inches. What? Uh, Damian Dayski, 10 inches. Man, get off this. Jason Love, 8 <laughs> inches. <laughs> Bro, uh, bro, Ricky bro, Johnson. This is insane. Eight and a half bro. inches. This is insane. Dread, bro. Ten inches. Still going? Bro. Lil D. Wait, seven and a half go? inches. Ludicrous, KSI. Bro. Four and a half inches. What the fuck? Lex Steel. Nine and a half inches. <laughs> yes, bro. Yes, yes, Why yes, he... yes, yes. You know the exact. <laughs> All right, so that wrap up this week's episode of the RAO Podcast, bro. We good. I got it. End it out. That was the craziest shit. Rest in peace, rich homie Quan, bro. This nigga, like I said, this nigga Rollo is ignorant, bro. See, that that shit I be talking about. Y'all nigga be so fake. The whole world was just calling this man rich homie Quan a rat. I never heard him call him a rat. Soon as he died. Oh, that was my friend. What was he ratting about? I didn't hear anything about him ratting on anybody. It was some documents he had named, but then nigga Rich Homie Quan was in the street nigga. I think we talked about it on a podcast yeah. one time, bro. He's not a street nigga, so he's not. <laughs> Only like five niggas was calling him a rat. The same five dummies that talking, we don't give a fuck what they got to say. Y'all niggas call everybody a rat. Who gives a fuck what y'all got to mm-hmm. say? It's crazy we lost him and James Earl Jones in the same even, week, bro. And it don't even matter, bro. Like, if, if let's say. Everybody was listening to his music, bro. So what, bro? They're giving him homage. Great, yeah. He we put out an album last year and I listened to it. It was yeah. pretty good. Like, bro, we can't give everybody I just talked about that. He was trying to make a resurgence. That yeah. album was good as hell, bro. I don't know why he ain't getting up. Whatever. Hey, man, I know R.A.O.P., bro. We get, we always get Rich Homie as Quan as well, especially me when I was quoting the shit every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we always gave him his praise. So it was like, even when he was at his code. Even yeah, when he did that questionable-ass dance on stage. <laughs> we yeah. still... Yeah, fuck with we Rich Homie for sure. To be honest, bro, we can't give everybody praise twenty four seven. Right, it's true. too many people. Right, and of course, the pra- he just died, so we paying homage to him. It's like, it's like human decency, bro. It's like obvious. Man, Rallo just trying to be relevant right now because he just got home. He, he just he he's just started fucking rapping. Else, he's seeing everybody else doing all of this other shit. That's you know it. what I mean? And he just want a part of that. Just that's drop it. a just drop a mixtape with him and Future. Boom! Shut the hell up. Drop some music. God What's, damn, that's it. Excuse my ignorance. What's the nigga that um <coughs> that uh Thug was beefing with? Why? Why is he Lucci? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He called Lucci on the jail phone and he was like recording the shit. And he was like, "Man, I want to uh." I'm trying to give your kids some money and trying to give y'all your kids some school clothes and whatnot. And then it was YMC Lucci. Oh, I remember that. Like, I remember that. He was like, we straight, bro. Yeah, what he the was, fuck was the he point? Like, of that? He was like, what you mean you straight, bro? He was like, man, we straight, bro. Like, I don't need you to give my kids nothing. I thought yeah. that was weird because and I then, never seen them two interact. And so yeah, I like, they never really interacted like that. And Lucci was saying no because he was like, I know this nigga probably recording me yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. It's like, why are you recording? You saying you want, hey, bro, I ain't, I know I ain't gonna talk to you, but like, hey, you want to buy your kids? Right. School clothes? I mean, have no prior conversations with this man. So this nigga can say, yeah, yeah, buy my kids school clothes. They're like, yeah, I'm buying this nigga kids shit. Right, right. Like, yeah, like, bro, the nigga goofy though. Holding my dog down, you know what I'm saying? And they gonna love a hip hop now. You should know that. Yeah. You should know that's why he's Rollo? acting goofy. Yes. Wow. He's on there, bro. Bro, stop watching love and hip hop. I'm not watching love and hip hop. It's watching me. Man, that's crazy. All right, bro. It, no. This was insane. That's this, this is proof, son. He was on a bootleg cab show rapping. Nah, nah. Proof, I proof don't even from wanna, DC. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, proof uh, from uh, uh, um uh, uh, Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. D twelve proof. Yeah, he, that, that, I don't want to believe that this is this. This is son. I mean, it looked like him. But it does I don't look like him. But what is he? What is, I don't want to believe it. It's his son. This Play the crazy. video. I haven't seen. I don't this. think proof would approve of these bars. But this is crazy. I don't even think his uncle Eminem would approve of these bars. But he didn't get. He hanging out with Big Sean now. So why well, he got a star on his face? That's his gimmick. He wore the stars on his face and the, the little brown sweater. He wear the same outfit like Doug Funny. It's just his gimmick. Yeah, and he about to rap really gay. What? Oh, why did he? Oh, no, turn it off. He lit his lips at the beginning. Kevin want me to rap. Kevin, I am not a rapper. I'm a porno movie actor. Will Smith looking bastard. Kid think he dick, nigga. Told him I shit fatter. You don't even know how to twerk it. These is real booty clappers. Broke nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> His face is so fucking funny. <laughs> that nigga looking like shattered. I never said that. Can't think he's chick. He said he's real booty clappers. <laughs> I told him this shit pattern. That is gay. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know what to say. That you know what? Extreme. I haven't looked that surprised since that, since that gay kid we met in Houston, bro. I don't, oh, oh my god, that's up there with that. Cause All what right. the fuck? It's yours, Joe. With our crash out of the day, we have this Brooklyn man who refuses to get his truck towed. He decides he's gonna take matters into his own hands. Mm-hmm. It's New York, so you know it's mad angles. Everybody got their phone out because <laughs> Bud's crashing out. He wilding. He said, nah, repo man. And that's why if you a repo man, you gotta be able to fight. Cause no, this is liable to happen fight. at every Definitely. moment. <laughs> now he deboed you for your truck, about to take uh, his own truck, and trucks. I guess tow it to safety. At least that's he how he played him. it out in his head. That's not what's gonna happen. Cause my boy can't drive the tow truck for nothing. Oh There's destruction of one oh vehicle. Buddy, you are going to prison most likely Super after this. Prison. Because he's not done. He hits every vehicle in the lineup. And then to make matters worse, watch this. He hit the right. Son lose his own truck. Oh that defeated God. the whole entire purpose of his mission. And I know he just keep on driving for a minute because he's like, oh, shit. Now I'm in a stolen vehicle. I just lost my truck. And this is all on camera and other people's cameras. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm cooked. At this point in time, you made a felonious decision. You said, I got this. <laughs> you ain't have it, though. But let me tell you, for Crash Eye Day, I appreciate you. I know the judge, of course, system, not going to treat you well. But here for Crash Eye Day, you win the award. Good like, shit, my brother. They don't make him like you no more. And the fact that you lost your own whip, <laughs> wow. Impeccable. I know this was a five-second case when they caught that nigga. Like, he just pulled up. They gave him the verdict, and that was it. Why the fuck did he drive so far down the street? Straight up, I like, guess the, he was none like, of the shit made any sense. And if he didn't know how to drive, after I hit really, the first car, I would have been like, "All right, bro, here go your truck back." Let uh, I don't even know what to say no more. Bro, I would have got down the street and put the tow car down. No, 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 that was the thing though. No, if, he, nigga, if he didn't know how to drive the tow truck, he damn sure didn't know how to take that bitch off the tow truck. I would have took the keys, period, and be like, truck? "Look, nigga, get my shit down, or I'm gonna beat your ass, and I'm keeping your key." Yeah, you get them shits off the roof, nigga. He ain't even have to do all that. He could have did a lot of shit without getting in that truck. <laughs> he chose to get in the truck. I would have <laughs> took the keys out the truck. My, my <laughs> truck ain't going nowhere, nigga. Lower yeah. this shit. Devin, what's your, you uh, ain't going Devin, nowhere. Devin, what's your uh, people towing company? They got like crazy shit like that happen? No, we ain't had no wild shit like that. What shit? Yeah. Because my daddy keep that yeah, phone. I was going to say, you don't want to fuck with none of them. people. Yeah, I don't think. We ain't never oh, have issues they, like they that. They know who to try. You don't yeah. want to fuck with none of them. people, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga pull up to tell you that shit. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was like, I was about to wild out, but I ain't, I'm good. <laughs> you know what? The Lord is talking to yeah. me right now. <laughs> yeah, bro. Good luck with that shit. Nigga nah, like, you want my wife's car too? <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all get paid on car. Right, right, right. Uh, my daughter got a car too. <laughs> <laughs> she, matter of fact, told all my coworkers' cars. <laughs> Like, bro, I support black businesses, bro. I'm for it. I, I'm all for it. <laughs> but uh, bro, my mama, she ain't pay her car. Uh, uh, five uh, uh, she got tickets, right? <laughs> Tow it to the compound. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to the impound. <laughs> man, what's this Kool-Aid boiling water shit, man? Oh, they like putting that shit in noodles. Oh, you ain't got no real? I mean, you ain't got no dating ass meat? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Fuck brother. It. Yeah, it's... I think I, I told y'all about it before the show, but it's, uh... Deshaun Watson, bro. This nigga has another lawsuit. <clears throat> oh, it's over for him. He said a new lawsuit filed against the Browns. Deshaun Watson accuses that the then Texans quarterback of sexual assault and battery stemming from an alleged incident in twenty in October twenty twenty, four years ago. I seen Dan Lebertard. He was talking about that on his show today. He was saying that he think that the Browns leaked that. Why would they do that? Because they want uh, James, James Winston that bad at, at starting quarterback? Nobody. Like I was telling you before we recorded, <laughs> I don't know if you watched that Browns game. Like, he don't got Kim. First of all, he's terrible. He's abysmal. He yeah. was terrible last year. Yeah. Nigga, he got, he got injured and fucking whatchamacallit played. Damn, my brain not working. Was it, wasn't it uh, Brissett? Tony yeah. Brissett last Brissette year? Brissett played last year. Yeah. Right? Brissett, no, no, no. That's when Brissett was jumping around. Oh, uh, who else was there last year? Um, 
They was they did Brissett like, have a run last year? Yeah, he was with the <laughs> he was with. No, it was like, the white dude. Hold on, hold on. Let me uh, I could have sworn Brissett went crazy at some point last year. It was with the Browns, and then they traded into the Patriots. They tra- actually they traded back to the Patriots because that's who he started with. Mm-hmm. It was up on the Tom Brady. It was Joe Flacco. Mm. Oh shit! It was in the playoffs last year against the Texans. Flacco, so yeah. The Texans kicked him out. Because soon as Watson got injured last year, Flacco <clears throat> started playing mm-hmm. and turned up. And Flacco ain't been in the league. Got them niggas to the playoffs. Bro, Flacco got the fucking Ravens to the Super Bowl yeah. a long ass time ago. Yeah. Soon as Watson, soon as Watson went down, that nigga Flacco started turned the team up. And then let, yesterday he ain't got no chemistry. One of the dudes fell. He tried to pick him up. That nigga slapped the nigga hand. I and got up that. on his own. I think there is a lock, a lot of locker room shit that be going on with him, brother. Yeah, so they saying that he might have <laughs> leaked it like to get out of the contract. Cause it could be another situation where, like, oh, you got some more shit going on. If he goes somewhere, on. he's not gonna be a starter at this mm. point right now. He got all these good rookie com- quarterbacks coming first in, of, balling. First of all, he got a two hundred something million dollar contract. Oh my nobody, God. Nobody's, nobody's taking yeah, it. Yeah, nobody taking it. If he if they get out that if they get him off the team, he is it's And they gotta for. pay him anyway. They would have to pay him that yeah, it's, money. It's guaranteed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he win either way. Oh no, there might be some stipulations. What would be the stipulation? You can't he harass some, women. It might he might be some, got some stipulations where like Libertar was pretty much saying that he might have some like some legal shit where it's like, oh, you got into some more shit. But my thing is, if you're gonna do all that, y'all should have signed him. Cause he had a million cases. Right, before they signed him when but, he left the Texans. But they signed but when he was playing for the Texans, he was like at an elite he was an elite quarterback. Yeah, and that's when most of the allegations came out too. Yeah. When he was in the fucking Texans. Well, that's another thing. They said the Texans leaked all them shits. Cause soon as he said he demanded that trade, all that shit got announced. He got paid that money too when he left the Texans. They they gave that nigga, and that nigga ended up like what eighty million. It was first. It was a rookie contract. Rookie contract. It was still the rookie contract. When the Browns got paid all this money, and now he's like, man, I don't fuck it. I'm gonna go to Canada, play for Canada. Fuck this shit. Y'all got James. He's still gonna, he's still gonna have a <laughs> generational amount of money if he. It just he. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, if you look at his chemistry versus <clears throat> uh, Winston chemistry in that locker room, Winston pull up happy as fuck. Have you ever seen the videos of yeah. him going to? James Winston act like a clown. I ain't gonna. Hold he be it. happy, bro. He, he do. He millions do, of dollars get to do what you love. I mean, and he can ball out if you want to. I mean, he to. really a menstrual show everywhere you go. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Speaking of menstrual show, somebody got some Kool Aid. Damn. They made fried Kool Aid chicken. Watermelon. They're from, from Big Ten. Why I gotta be watermelon though? I don't know, bro. Some coon fried Kool Aid chicken. Watermelon. Does chicken fried watermelon chicken. with that Kool Aid oh, sauce. Man, I know y'all love this one. This was a hit. But which one is better, this one or the fried chicken with watermelon sauce? That chicken fried watermelon is my favorite by far. But this one is a close second. I'll see y'all in the next video. Frying watermelon is 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 Why the fuck would I want something fried that's not chicken? Nah, this. This one here, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna play this because I already grossed bruh, y'all out enough. Bro, that I, one there say, was fucking disgusting. I'll say which that one, the Nike week. shirt or the one with the, the, the Nike shirt? The Nike one. We'll say that for next week because I don't want to discuss y'all anymore. Thank you. We met our quota. This is pretty bad too. This is actually, I feel like this is sexual harassment. This one's from um, Big Chicken Junior. It say Mona shows <laughs> in Philly are getting Brazilian waxes to celebrate the return to the Eagles. I don't understand. So why he's like weird. got his legs propped nah, up. And he got the crazy. Oh, hey, this, yo, this this sexual harassment, ain't it? It's got to be. Like something. you got the woman like watching. You got your legs propped up. It, I, I, it all depends on what's in that contract before you even you step on read, the stage. You and the you room, getting a man. Brazilian wax done? Ah, yeah. Jalen Hurts. Ow. Alex Holly, go. <laughs> go. Are you okay? Nah, ain't no way. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, some of them. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's weird. Bro. <laughs> Shit like that, doing the fucking comfort of your own home. What is the point of that? What was the Behind point the of that? What was door? the point? You know what what, what, was, the, what like, was the motive? I don't understand. That was crazy. What motive was. I don't know. Getting uh, your asshole waxed is insane. All right, this one from. <laughs> He got Big Sean. This nigga Big Only Sean. for men. Not for women. Yeah. Fake Not for abs. Me. Yeah, I saw this shit. I was like. This shit weird. I thought why? this shit was like AI generated. I thought he was doing a skit or something. <laughs> yeah, this, this shit looked First like all, build a bear. It like, like chewed up bubble gum. <laughs> it looked like niggas punched him several times what on does both he get sides out of, of his body and his no, shit deformed. No, he, <laughs> 
<laughs> that nigga got a Dragon Ball Z body for no what reason. Was that it looked like the Hulk just grabbed that nigga by his torso. <laughs> <laughs> he squeezed all his Wasn't organs. Wasn't that Fresh it. Prince? <laughs> when like the dude would punch, wasn't he like punching Will and that stuff and the shit was like going through Will body and the punch <laughs> yeah. was like coming on the other side? Yeah. That's why it's like, that's just me me. That's funny. Nigga got Bruh. hit by Saget a couple then times. Like a, then nigga like a squeeze water bottle. Like you just For like real. You squeeze a water bottle and turn it. That's big shit. This say he got a BBL drizzy. Oh. Fake abs is crazy work. Uh. Chest and abs ain't matching, my boy. Bro went to Turkey for those abs. <laughs> it's, why did he take this picture? Then they got them, I don't then know. Then they got them sprayed on 300 abs. Remember that movie when 300 first came out? People saying them abs was fake. They was sprayed yeah, on. Look like a GTA <laughs> villain. Do he he think, does, look at that last picture in the corner. Do you think he's <laughs> stupid? Nigga look, like, <laughs> nigga look like one of them niggas you just kill and you walking down the street on GTA. He <laughs> 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 ain't working out on Muscle Beach and shit. He's a murk his ass. Nigga look like he got AIDS. <laughs> 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 Why is he wearing the, the jean shorts? Make it worse. It's the jean shorts. Nah, the make jean it shorts make worse, it die by the dog. Yeah, that shit not is crazy. Me with this shit. What, what was this supposed to be for? This big. I don't know, bro. <laughs> do we think? Do we think we stupid, bro? Yes, he does. First of all, bro, you look at the chest. Niggas be wondering why I hate this nigga. Nah, you got every reason to. Oh, we think. Look at his arms, bro. His arms bro. flabby, bro. Yeah, you, no. we, you can't just have flabby arms. <laughs> Nigga ain't got no definition in his arm. <laughs> Nigga spent six summers he working no on his ass. In his chest, <laughs> like, like, bro. That nigga just woke up. He did seven hundred sit ups a day. That's it. <laughs> For That's real. it. And then put on some jeans, short, some jorts. And you, said, remember the ab, you remember the ab roller? That nigga yeah, just yeah, did yeah. the ab roller. <laughs> Make a foul one on tour and never nah, stop. Nah, the ab roller actually help your chest too. That nigga got his shit. I don't know. That nigga look crazy. That nigga shit. went to Dr. Duval and got him out. Dr. Duval. Dr. Duval. Remember, that, remember that chick that, that was. That nigga went to Dr. Love. Remember that chick that was freezing <laughs> women abs with the. In, on, and right in, um right down up the street from where you stay yeah, at yeah, on Dunn yeah. Avenue? That's where he went to, bro. Bro, I know. I think, she's still, I think she's still open. I seen a girl on IG. Oh, she was just getting her oh abs shot. Them right. What? What the I'm fuck like, that dude? Still, I'm like, bro, women just buy anything. She done upgraded from freezing them to electrocuting them, bitches? Yeah, yeah. God damn, let's do some sit-ups, What do we do? Do some sit-ups. This chick I was fucking years ago, she used to um, put the little suction cups on women's booty to make it look more fuller. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's oh. Thing. It's, it's, oh. <laughs> what? It's actually ridiculous. It, it just do nothing but put, make your booty lumpy. <laughs> it don't do nothing at all. It makes it look very deformed. That's funny as hell. Yeah, make it like a cone head. Yeah. Because it, <laughs> it don't cover the whole butt cheek. So no. it's like a center of it just be pulled That's what I'm saying, bro. It don't, it don't and take, then it's got a little cup. It don't under take the much bottom. to what? take women money. It Shoot don't. It don't. It really yeah. don't. It really don't. It really don't. If I could shoot women <clears> lashes on with a BB gun, I'm pretty sure I could make a lot of money. Well, that's why them Asians man. do so well at beauty supply stores. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Them, hey. niggas, them niggas was legit selling uh, <laughs> floral slippers for like 20 years. Hey, why you playing? Why you playing? They can talk about meeting women at Walmart and shit. No, you don't. They want a beauty supply store. No, that's right. On the weekend? For a holiday? Oh. 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 Just hang out outside. Yeah. Now. Nigga, I, go, I, I be going to shit with my mom sometimes because I know she about to go to the one on done. I'm going to start setting up fake donation stations. Not accepting donations, but just looking like it. You know what I mean? Mm. And then people walk up on me. All right. Speaking of donations, this, <laughs> one, from, crazy this, this one from Aaron. You know how I be on here saying, man, don't give white people, homeless people money? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, this is proof. We finally got proof? Yeah. Of Okay. All right, so this dude gave some homeless people some money. Look what happened. Dane Rusk will think twice before handing out spare change again. Well, the ticket's $175, and the $3 I gave to him, I'm out $178, all because I was trying to help out a homeless guy. It happened Wednesday as Rusk was leaving the Victoria Square Mall. As I came up to the stop sign, I stopped and I looked, and I saw this homeless, homeless guy holding a sign. I instantly felt sorry for him. That's when Rusk says he took off his seatbelt and grabbed $3 from his pocket. I reached out. I had to undo my seatbelt. 
out, and hang over and drop the change on the curb. But this wasn't an ordinary panhandler. It was an undercover police officer. Moments after dropping the change, Rusk was pulled over by police on Victoria Avenue and issued a ticket. I said, what do you, what do you mean? I, I didn't talk to any police officer. And he said, well, yeah, you gave him money. I said, oh, the homeless guy. And that's when I was, I was pretty shocked. Regina police say this is nothing new. It's part of the intersection projects. Why they got Gucci playing in the background? Yeah, I want to watch that song. I'm gonna yeah, feel I, I, I like, that was um, that was V I C get silly. Okay, it was get silly. That's why I was like, that's why I was listening to it. I was like, bro, whoever. Oh, why did you put that song over that shit? Yeah, Damn get silly. Like, oh, that's what that was. <laughs> Yo, V I C get silly. Uh -huh. Get silly. Get, like, wow, that don't got nothing to do with the video, dog. <laughs> no. You just made it harder. You just Thank made it harder you, yeah. for our listeners to hear what the fuck is going on. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and his defense, I'm pretty sure they didn't think it was going to be played on a podcast. <laughs> I sued the city, though, man. You can't. Yeah, you have to, because what can't you take me for being a good Samaritan? Yeah, nigga. that sounds so goddamn American and stupid. And they took his money. They took his $3. Like what's the what's the point? Like what's the what point? Is, yeah, it's not like he asked a nigga to. It's not like he like at least give me my three dollars back. Fuck yeah. Nigga. So it's like I, <laughs> it's you just award my ticket, bitch. <laughs> okay, so what's the point of doing that? So I don't not know. everybody gonna take their seatbelt off. Because oh, cause so cause like, you're just taking people money. Well, how long ago, how long ago was this video? Because you know, homeless is not a, not a, is is illegal now. In so America. hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, it's legal now. He got a seatbelt ticket. He got a seatbelt ticket. Oh, that's crazy. Wait. Nah, wait, that's, wait, that's wait, wait, This was a that's setup insane. for another ticket. So it that's wasn't the insane. fact that he gave the homeless man $3. It was the fact he wasn't winning. His... No, the homeless seat man belt. wasn't a homeless man. It was a cop. No, no I'm saying like, that, 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 but the ticket was a seatbelt ticket? It was a seatbelt ticket. That's but insane. he had to get, he, took, he, he, he literally took said. His, he took yeah. his seatbelt off to get him money. He said so that. The state, so the, what they were looking for was people with no seatbelts on. So my thing is, oh my everybody God. doesn't not not have a seatbelt on. Right. It's most people going to have their seatbelt on. So that Shit means like you're, that, is that means you're taking a lot of people's money. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. What I do in my personal vehicle that I'm paying for should not be an issue. I should not get a ticket for that shit. I can see if it was like a tail light or some shit, which still don't really matter. Yeah. Nobody, you see a car stop. What you gonna do at night? You gonna fucking stop? You see a goddamn car stop? 100%. So that shit like that is just fucking abuse of power, bro. I hate 100%. that. One hundred percent. It's so that's, stupid. And yeah, that give me another reason. Yeah, I'm definitely not giving no motherfucker no money. Yeah, I've yeah, never Kirk when it comes to cop shit. Station, um, when I was when I ran, ran over there real quick, he was like, "Hey man, I need dollar bills." He had quarters, uh, and dude inside won't give it to me. Can you give me dollar bills? So I go inside. I'm like, hey, man, I don't know what y'all got going on, but <clears throat> bro want dollar bills. You know what I'm saying? He like, nah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't serving them or whatever, right? But I like, shit, fuck it, I'll give it back to him. I ain't tripping. I had a dollar that I got back in change. Mm -hmm. I gave him the dollar and took the quarters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Um, he had it. You had it. I let him, had him know. It. I said, hey, Fair bro, change. I gave you a dollar, but I took one of yours. Them quarters got HIV on it. All right, let's do this other one. You spread the shit off with Lysol? I need to now. You definitely do. He got the OG Batman, Adam West. He, he uh, They need to ass beat. Well, he said, Nick. Adam West and Burt Ward became famous in the 60s for their portrayal of Batman and Robin. They were also equally infamous in Hollywood for their off screen debauchery. Oh, my This God. included Adam West sleeping with up to eight women a day. Two of those women were uh -huh. Natalie Wood and Raquel Welch. Hey. One time, Adam West slept that's with a, so many women number, in the yeah. city of Aspen, Colorado, mm -hmm. that this city banned him from returning for another 15 years. God damn. Adam West was having sex between scenes, on lunch breaks, pretty much every chance he got. It was not uncommon for there to be an actual line of women waiting outside of Adam West's Man, dressing room, sometimes starting as early as <laughs> 7 in the morning. One of the most insane stories involving Adam West's escapades involved Adam West and the actor Frank Gorshin, who played the Riddler on the Batman series, attending an orgy together. They yeah, were both that. kicked out of said orgy because both of them kept pretending to be in character the entire time. <laughs> Could you imagine being in an, uh, in an orgy and you hear Batman? Why does he need his ass beat for that? That's all like I, I was actually going to say. Uh, who, who sent that in? Aaron. 
Aaron, Aaron sound like a hate man, nigga. Aaron, you hate <laughs> nigga. Sound like a because that's soul, actually man. real nigga activity. Yeah, hundred nigga blowing the shit back. Batman, call me Batman, ho. Batman's coming. Nigga said the Riddler's over there. I thought he was going through different episodes and shit like that. Like what? What? I thought he was more so confused. You're gonna stop your shenanigans. Like hey, 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 none of that. We just want to fuck. We don't need none of that other shit. But to be kicked out of a city for 15 years, for fucking too many women. Yeah. That I want to be known as that, that real nigga. That that I want to be known as that. He was fucking some of their wives, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he wives. fucked half the city wives. He was fucking some of their sisters, his sisters, daughters. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He probably fucked some mamas. Yeah, he definitely fucked some mamas. <laughs> some mamas. <laughs> nigga. Fucking bitches at PTA meetings. You can't. You, uh, it, church meetings. Your shit getting hit can't make you that mad, nigga. What was he doing in Colorado for that long? Was they shooting a season of Batman? Or? I don't even think he was in there long. That nigga probably wasn't even shooting no they season. Just said, they just said, hey, nigga, we don't want to see you back here. Hey, Years, that nigga nigga. probably was just on vacation. You probably wouldn't even shoot no damn If you show. even smell some pussy across this damn. border, nigga, we will arrest that you. That probably thumb, was annoying. They was in the orgy. They was acting like they was on the show. They were like, <laughs> he fucking the chick. He was like, and they do the little comic strip shit. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn! <laughs> Blowjob! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Nut! <laughs> Hey, question. No. So, okay. No. <laughs> so, so question. So question. I'm after, going after, to the back cave. Okay, I got a question for both of y'all. After hearing this info, who you think got more numbers? Will Chamberlain or Adam West? Oh, clearly Adam West. Sound like Adam West. Sound like Adam West. Adam West. Yeah. Eight a day Will Chamberlain didn't get banned from nowhere. Now, was that eight a day in Colorado? No, 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 no. That's eight, eight a day in general. Day. Oh, and my it, God. I want you to think about this. <clears throat> Adam West was, was still relevant mm. probably up until we were... Oh, family guy. Like, family. damn near 20. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, that used to be an event back in the day when they used to play like the OG Batman. Yeah. On the uh, WB, they were like, "This week we playing the OG Batman." Oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, that shit used to be like an event. Like Adam West was a big deal. <clears throat> I could definitely see this nigga pulling up to the origin in the Batmobile. Him and the Riddler pulling up That's to the origin. Of- <laughs> That's definitely crazy. <laughs> My question is, <laughs> nigga, bro, probably walked in masked up, bro. My question is, the nigga that, was the nigga that played Robin a bitch ass nigga? He bring Robin. Nigga he probably, he, 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 he no brought not, not, not being problematic, but I heard he was he was he was on the other team. Oh, that's <laughs> not being problematic. <laughs> nigga probably went to the orgy and said, "This is my son. He doesn't want any part of this. <laughs> he, just <wants> to, <laughs> he just wants to listen. He's gonna let him listen. <laughs> nigga to said, the Batman, where's the pussy? No, oh. get out of here. <laughs> y'all, y'all ain't got no boys. <laughs> Go like, back to the back." <laughs> Y'all ain't got no men? Like, Robin, you need to... You need to leave. You need to go hang out with Catwoman or something. Hey, Robin, what, what, Robin, what was you and the Joker doing up there? Yeah. yeah. yeah that's a lot of... <laughs> that's funny. Hey, Robin, take off Catwoman's suit. <laughs> take... <laughs> How many times I gotta tell you to take a point and I'll just shoot off? <laughs> <laughs> I won't stand for this. It, it made me feel pretty. It uh, fits Adam. well. <laughs> Stop talking about me, Adam. Really. You know green is my color. <laughs> yeah, so we can all, but we can all agree that uh, it's not like Aaron just a hate that nigga. Yeah, bro. Well, Aaron, you Aaron just might be a, he just might be a Robin fan. You hating on this? Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> a Joker fan. Joker won't get no play back. Hey, that was crazy. That's funny. <laughs> that was. Crazy. <laughs> 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 all right, man. That's all the day these day ass beats. It's late as escape, man. That's a wild way to end it. That's hilarious. I'm glad you ended man. on that. <laughs> Damn near a three hour. We haven't done a three hour episode in a while. Hey, man. It's been another episode of REOP, man. With all that said, we out. But don't pout. We'll be back next week. Go ahead and bring that thing. <laughs>